Alright, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to some more Tears of the Kingdom. We're, uh, well, basically we're just gonna be killing a few, uh, important enemies. Mostly the Gleox, the King ones, uh, maybe some other ones, because, you know, we need the Gleox guns. And this is our little Styro Glider, because, uh, speed. Even though I could have warped, uh, there. But this is fine. It's objectively closer, so. We're gonna be killing the four King Gleox today, um. And basically anything else that stands in our path. And especially stuff that's good for, like, materials, uh, more bosses, more exploration. Because after all, it is 100%. So, we're doing all that stuff. And yeah, welcome everyone. Hopefully you're having a good Wednesday. Uh, nice to be going at it. Yeah, we started today at, uh, about 82% roughly. So, more map completion, more working towards the goals. But yeah, recently our biggest goal has been, uh, armor upgrades. Because... Yep, you need like nine Glia guts just to max out the uh, um, the final sets in the game. The one that you get from all the shrines. The aspect. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> He's a beast of the sky. But it'll be fun. Well, a few different strategies for each because we have four of them to kill. Hmm. We have one of each of the different horns. Quite frankly, I just repaired a bunch of weapons at Octorox. So, we have don't have a lot of this fuse currently, but we, uh, we'll make it work. There's some weapons we can get in between. They'll be really good. Especially really heavy hitters. <laughs> I guess we're starting this in disguise. You know what? This is fine. Quite honestly. Uh oh. <laughs> I had the wrong everything out. Um, let's see. Does that kill? Oh! With the Dusk Bow, you can do that. Must have like just 30 health. Or. Uh, <laughs> the health bar just didn't show. For whatever reason. Okay. Um, let's fang it up. I knew. I know fangs deal, like, double their damage for some reason. It's never really explained that they do, but... Okay, where are they? <laughs> Where's a fang that I have a lot of? I'd start using them more now that I know that. Okay, like this. So it says plus 12, but I think... Wait. If we go to here, plus 12... Wait a second... <laughs> Yeah, notice that it says few six attack power, but for this it's at plus 12, because fangs deal double for some reason. Also, I love the fact that I just didn't kill him. Are we in the surface? Oh, we are. <laughs> These dust goes fast, and speedy, and efficient? I hope so. <laughs> Not to that. At least they don't regen. Shoot me, not Tulin. The Elven Vendetta for Tulin. Me too. All the times you blew my stuff off the edge. Bye bye. <laughs> this is going great so far. And that's unnecessary. Okay, fine. A weak phase one, but now a weapon? We could try to do fast charges with this, honestly. If I do the weather set, this is a combo I was hoping for, but weather sets because it looks cool. There we go. Looks awesome. So that's for quick charge. I did not put anything on this yet because I did not pay attention to that. There we go. And then we need Sidon. Uh, he didn't want to spawn. <laughs> That's fine. It's half set up. There we go. Fast charge. And he missed every single one. Okay. Yep, he literally missed all of them in the first one. How awesome we look, though. Zone Eye Link. 
It'll be freezing, but... You know what? It's not the worst of our worries. Oh. <laughs> I wanted that. I will go, uh... Resistance? Resistance and food. Thank you. Oh! No, I missed the tail whip! <laughs> this is vital for my strategy. The hidden move. Oh. No, not the fruit. Oh my god, that laser just went clear course. <laughs> Get her own back. Nope. Okay. We tail up next time, I'll counter. Oh, he's doing fire. Oh, he did shock balls. I didn't even know he did those. Is it just the king that does that? Ooh! I parried it, but... Wait, it parried, but I dropped the shield, so it skipped the whole animation. Okay, maybe that one I can't parry. You kind of need all the immunities, and for King Gliok, maybe it's not the best for us. Okay, fine. Yep, you can parry those, but instant shun back. So the other ones are a bit better. Nope. <laughs> Me trying to pull that tail up move so I can, uh... Oh no, I, I did the buttons, just... Just a little late. Okay, well we don't get to try till the next phase. What should we do? Wait. It's like I want to parry these now. But I don't want to die. There we go. I don't think okay. Still neat though. Go for side on that. Nice. Get him! Ooh, got the middle head! Oh, the ice one hit the fire! Cool. Ow. <laughs> Creative strats aren't always good strats. They're just fun strats. Oh, yeah, those two. That you can parry. <laughs> it's very, uh, interestingly selective. Is the term. <laughs> The help have a lot. <laughs> Side on? Okay. Now, 154 damage. The quickest charge. Oh, we're in the right, wrong stuff. <laughs> Go with that? Nice! Literal machine gun. Alright. I must love genociding. I sure do. In this game, it is great to do. Oh. I actually don't know where I'm going. <laughs> My aim is very off. You know, it actually might be harder with all the side guys. Because then he keeps targeting them. No. I had one, one go. Let's try and creative strats is creative. Okay. Now do your tail whip. Nope. I will counter the tail whip. It's possible to. But he rarely uses it because he, he prefers his blowback move. Yep. But you can counter the tail whip. And we've done it exactly once before. And that would have been it if I actually got close. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, we're in hit distance! <laughs> Wait, I can just whack the heads from here? I mean, if you get close. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't... Yeah. It doesn't pay to do that. I never fought a King Gliak like this, so... A normal one, yes. By normal, I mean fire. Uh oh Yep, it just burst the whole thing. Anyways. <laughs> it's okay, health isn't limited. We're a late game character. Spikes get out. He's gonna do that first. Yep. 
could have seen it coming. I guess you didn't. <laughs> okay. Next time we're getting the tail whip. Like my life depends on it. And we're not getting blown off the platform either. Okay. Well, one of those things came true. He got the tree! <laughs> Wait, they can cut trees down! He hate nat hates nature. Also, hello everyone. Hello, Orca. Ow. Sorry, we kind of started the stream a bit chaotically. Which I expected, because we're killing King Leox. There we go. Okay, just not going to mess with the shock. I mess with the shock. If I switch my armor every go, then I guess technically I'll be fine. Oh, oh no, thank you. What if you just land on the shield? You're not going to break it. I desperately tried parrying that. We are a little on the edge. A lot on the edge. How does one recover? How does one recover? <laughs> that's that's a great question. Um, is it possible to? Indeed it is. Practically came in on a thumbnail. That's true. That's where I took that picture initially. Because I took the picture of this Gliok like very early in my playthrough. So eventually became a thumbnail. Like half my pictures do. Maybe if I had a wooden shield, you know, we'll, that would solve every problem. Not not those type though. Um, you know, this is fine. It's just how life is sometimes. There's just no regen, so I'm free to experiment as I please. He's slow. <laughs> he does knock back, but ultimately it's pretty fine. Please just do the tail up. I need one satisfying counter. Oh no! My timing was almost perfect. So I should just be doing that. You see how effective that was? It was very. Blast of fruit. So during that tail up move, I can also just hit the faces. It's kind of cool. Okay. No ice. That's, that one's annoying. Maybe not as annoying as this one. There we go. What happened to your other face? <laughs> I just hit the body. Ow. Only like one of those landed. Oh yeah, I can do this. Can, if it, if it works. <laughs> this is just fun. Go find the pillar. <laughs> so you get better at killing these one day. Oh, what? <laughs> he was waiting for me. Just had both sides cornered. Okay. Pine cone. There we go. The wind's going one way. Ooh, there we go. I mean, didn't work, but... Ow. <laughs> Even the lightning helm doesn't threaten you against that. Breaking my my shell. Okay, now we're switching armors. <laughs> How long did the head stay stunned? 30 seconds? I, I want to say like at least 30 seconds. I never timed it, so. I like I can break them. Oh, I don't like getting broken though uh -oh. <laughs> just he hates his pillar that's his excuse I just wanted to do the tail whip against me okay fine next go 
Whoa, my camera. Uh, there we go. We need bullet time when you can just aim well. Aim well. Good strat. So I feel like I just tanked that shot. Oh, uh, Beating with bull time? Easy. Being with anything other than bull time? The true champion of bosses. <laughs> bye bye. Oh. Aim straight. No. Nope. Literally saw his health just rise back. <laughs> okay. Me trying to beat him with all just bull timing every single time. But I assume that's not a thing that you're supposed to do. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. He's doing it. He's doing it. Stop. Just use the tail whip. Be different. Be interesting. Okay. Or be dead. I prefer that. Sidon, get follow. <laughs> Don't spawn in the background. Okay. Fast charge? That was good. Okay. I respect this. Now we're just gonna have a hell time doing the end. At least we look cool doing it. Now I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, Spear Warriors. I got one too. I just turned the trident into a wondant. <laughs> look, back to back. Water Warriors. Okay, I'm dead. Whoa. At least it's not shooting ice. It does that much damage! I've maxed out armor! <laughs> and he took out like a full row of hearts. In that case, I don't care to protect against the attacks. Uh-oh. 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 That was very not good. Well, he does a little. Oh! <laughs> okay, now I definitely don't want to die here, so. We're gonna prepare for the no death route. This is no lightning. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a very fun time. What? No, but from what? From what? From what? No! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Yep, that is a lot of hearts. That is, uh, 17 hearts? Oh, there we go. Wow. Literally because there was a break. That was the only reason why we're alive. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> These look cool doing it. Woohoo! Yeah! Go Plompy. Plomp. All right. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> well, that's King Gliak 1. That was uh, a battle, for sure. <laughs> a lot of cool stuff. We uh, practiced a lot of parries against it, and... Okay, we got the guts. Uh, that's what we need. Because with the guts, we need a lot to upgrade the aspect set. Which is like this one. Also, I think some of the Royal Guard stuff, so... I have metal. It doesn't matter if I have metal or not, uh... Lightning will still strike and it'll do basically the same damage. It only attracts like natural lightning, so it doesn't like increase the amount of damage you take to lightning. Um, but yeah, next one, because we can just start charging it first. Uh, well, eventually. There's the Gleak Den, den which is the uh, Depths one, which we can do that next because there's a couple things I can grab in the meantime. Um, one of the big one being a couple good weapons that are here, actually. I want to just take them first. So let's do it. <laughs> Took way too long, but we did it. With style. That's that's the important part. Because, yeah, you can just bolt time them and just hit them. I'm trying to figure out how to do more of the parries against them and figure out how the tail move actually works. Uh, they're very fun fights, depending on the way you do it. So There's always like a method and a lot of interesting timing-based stuff because you can't telegraph everything. 
But the more you can, it just feels rewarding. So how many guts do we need in total? I think nine for the hero's aspect and like uh, at least three for like, there was like a random armor piece that needed it. I don't remember exactly what it was, but something, so. Um, I'm just going to be a little simple. Not too simple. The beam cycle zero. We'll kill another one. <laughs> yep. The master cycle zero, but Tears of the Kingdom version. And it's funny, you get this thing at the Shrine of Resurrection. So it's it's a clear reference. Let's hope I don't break anything. Hi, Metal Blood. Bye-bye. Oh! <laughs> Broke his, uh, solitude. What's this gonna be? Yes, actually. Because this can be an overpowered Gleox Slaying weapon. Um, here, do you want the long throw spear? I mean, I could try to get a good thing on it, but... I should stop hoarding crap weapons, because I think we're silly. I do that too much, don't I? Here, that guy's mining. Oh! Long throw. It's fine. I have a long throw master sword. Alright. Your funeral, not mine. Okay. Um. And this was the heart to the face. Just showing my love. Two. Coblins. <laughs> Does like no damage to me, meanwhile, King Gleok. All damage. Okay. <laughs> extra range, extra style. I like how the weapon takes like the entire screen when I'm hitting. At least it looks flashy. And at base, the sword's doing like 45 damage because it's a gloom enemy. So, I mean, it's pretty good. There. How many bombs do you want? Two? Well, that's all I have. <laughs> so you take that. I'm gonna do a little mining while you're busy. Bye bye. Okay. So I don't want to take care of it, or this is a job for me. Hmm. I'm gonna de-weapon him with a plushie. Okay. <laughs> Nino. <laughs> okay, you can have it back. Bye bye. <laughs> and now we do the Yiga bully tactics. If we can hit it, it's fine. We have a shield. I kind of figured Sidon would be a good companion. Because the water stuff for the extra damage for those weapons. And Sidon's ability is cool because it's like a predicted shield. It's like. Obviously, it doesn't help you do a surprise, but. If you're really trying to calculate, you know, preventing a power attack, like a, I don't know, like a Molduga jump, you know, if you want to bait one out. If you don't want to use a bomb, you can just use his ability. You'll become the bait, though, but you'll live, which is all the more worth it. Just, yes! Okay, that's what I wanted, too. <laughs> Oddly enough, I wanted both these things. That's why I came here. And, uh, I'm glad we did. Because this, I can make just a really powerful, uh, you know, hitty sort of weapon. Because I like that. Um, activate our desperate strength. We can do, like, a one-shot run uh, against a Gliak. Especially the Depths one. Because, you know what? It's like, with desperate strength, you just have to be at a quarter of a heart. But I'm pretty sure the Gliak does... Wait, does it do gloom damage? That actually would change it. Because knight's weapons are good in the depths because, uh... Yeah, if you get yourself to one quarter heart in the depths, even if you get hit by enemies, you'll still live because they'll just take away from the top of your hearts. But the desperate strength will still be active. So it's really good for depths. <laughs> this is a silly one. It's like a worse monocycle, but it has a silly beam, so... I'll take the silly. Also, is there anything that's, like, pressing? Because we didn't fully go on top of there, because there's not too much. 
Mm. Trying to think. You can get more weapons like here. I do want to see where I can get a soldier spear, because that's another weapon I want to remake. Um, soldier spear with a light dragon part makes a really fast healing weapon. I think that's kind of cool. So, uh, oh, I just heard myself. <laughs> Oops. Um, one second. Let me pull up my object map because it is a good resource and I would like to use it. Okay. Boop. Uh, is that up? Oh, it is. Okay. So, soldier spear. There's a lot of places where it can't spawn. Me forgetting I'll spell soldier. Um, don't, don't, no, I'm, I'm not, uh, S-O. Is my mind doing gymnastics right now? <laughs> I thought that's why I spell it at first. Okay. I was like, just gaslighting myself there. Um, we're good. So, yeah, there's two of them next to this, I think, Colgaro rematch. Or those are claymores. So, Soldier Spear. So not quite there, but this one... Wait. I have to change the map type to just the Depths one, because that will make it accurate to what I want to see. Hmm. Okay, yeah, there's like two of them by this warp point. And it can be like a Rito one. Um, let's see, what thing has better odds, though? I think it's all like a one in three chance, so it's not going to be. Huh. Okay, these guys have decayed. We want pristine. So I don't really think there's a best way to do this. So yeah, just a lot of random enemies will have it, but I believe those will be decayed. So if we want to do good, I'm just going to warp to here because there's two potential ones we can get. And if we have that, that's a good weapon and good weapons are good. Or I can just see what's close by. I, I didn't actually check that. Um, never mind, I lied. There was two close by. That's very nice. Um, we're right there. There's like the Lionel area and then a bunch of statues that could pen potentially give it. Between knights, soldiers, throwing. Okay. So let's do that. We can literally just get there by going here. Yes, soldier. Me trying to spell 101. It definitely wasn't my strong suit. There we go. Um, promise I have other skill sets, but spelling was never one. Oh. <laughs> Driving wasn't one either, apparently. Oh, um, I mean, that's it, fine. Do your thing. Where'd it go? Oh, p <laughs> there it went. Um, <gasps> we're not getting that back. <laughs> <gasps> My timing was a bit rusty. Soldier, soldier, smolder. Whatever it is. Alright, it's on those big platforms. Also, shouldn't there be a line only by? Because it's a depth thing. There's a stable above, or it was a stable above. So maybe there's not a line here because it's technically not a stable above. Right? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, I think this one doesn't have a Lionel. Because it's not stable anymore. Just a fragment of its past self. Hmm. One Croton to teach us math at the Hateno School. Yeah, sadly, they just weren't hiring for it. They didn't deem math a necessary subject. But history makes sense, you know. There's a lot of... No, crucial events that happen in this timeline. Also, have we found all the armor sets? We ha almost dead. Uh, we're missing one scoured sword piece. We're missing, uh, I think, one of the rubber armor sets and then the climber bandana, which we'll find that eventually. <gasps> Soldier spear. It's my lucky day. We just found it right away. Okay, we're keeping rock hammer for Korok stuff. I'd have, well, technically I don't have to. Um, but whenever you see one of those like rock circle rock puzzles, you can just solve it with any rock, even just on a weapon. So that's why I kept this. But 
technically speaking. Yeah, just a dummy weapon. But okay, 10 durability. Um, we're gonna re replace it with a... Um, light dragon part. And technically I can just like repair it and stuff, so I could use my best one. Do we have a light? <laughs> I don't know, most of them are clumped together, but it's, if I didn't do the selection right. Okay, light dragon, that's 20. Um, which is not bad, but honestly, I think, I think the horn things are fine because then it becomes a hammer at least. Yeah. So it's not about the damage, but since it has quick charge on it, very fast healer weapon. And we like fast healers. We like living. Hmm. We could try to make it to the Gliok then from here. Yeah, I guess to just prepare a bit. Um, we still have to hit all these things. These are Froxes. Froxes are hearts, and these are ones we didn't kill for our objectives. So I'm still trying to do that every stream whenever we're kind of near one. It's like, just do it, you know? And to save us much pain, we'll uh, air bike. And also, I don't need the cold buff. I haven't used that in a long time. Huh, how neat. But also, this is better. <laughs> Goodbye, hammer. <laughs> Goodbye, a lot of things. We're, we're amping up. We'll get something good on this. I think I have an idea for this one, actually. Okay. We'll test it when we get to the Gliok. Um, Giant Boomerang, I want to put a Colgara Jaw on it because I think it's like the biggest, like, there's like a part size per damage ratio. I'm pretty sure Colgara Jaws are the best because they're just massive and they do quite a bit of damage. So with the Giant Boomerang, it should have a very big hit radius with that. It'll be nice to make just a purely damaging one rather than just the elemental ones. Despite how fun they are, it's like diversity. Yay. Okay, we're going there. Um, I don't think anything else is too important nearby. So I'm really just kind of hanging up the one thing. <laughs> Mukdorok. You know, yeah, we could go for a nice uh, parts. <laughs> right? I have, like, a genius idea. It's a little too genius for Mark Drop, but... Take it up! No! <laughs> I know if I was actually blocking it. It wasn't. Um, But it felt like it was. Okay. We're making it work. It's a little heavy, but... It will land. Let the water, uh, <laughs> graze him? Uh-oh. I should probably have jumped. Oh, but it stayed upright, thank you. Oh wait, this is my golden opportunity. Get him. This is not a good uh, strategy. Do we have the Yiga uh, sprinkler? Cause that'd be really nice. What exists? Um, water, water. We don't. That's one of the few skin we don't have. Well, oh, fine. We improvise. We do that. We put on a stake. Actually, we didn't need the stake. We put on a hover stone. I'm just grabbing random parts. Trust me, this is for the plot. It's fine. You did two damage. You consider more health, shouldn't you? Have? It's fine. You know we're just gonna do that. Then we're gonna quickly put a sprinkler on it. Because I didn't plan. Oh. This acts as a shield. I don't know why, it, but okay. <laughs> I 
big radius. You see what's going on? Because I do. Make it rain! Get him! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, has to hit. Come on, get in my water trap. I feel like every single one's just avoiding it? That was exactly the case, actually. Okay, a little too high. Just, just a tad. We're experimenting. Well, a slight experiment. It's one that's gonna work though, so it's a little different. We like the ones that work. It makes us feel accomplished. So we're killing Muckdrock for his Octrock first, and not much else. this we're just gonna go yep just so it's a fair height this should be a bit better get him yes there we go <laughs> let it rain that'll last a bit yes okay good we're gonna heal with this thing never mind I need damage <laughs> You get back here. 100 damage? That's cute. This is better though. Woo. Please. Okay. <laughs> Phase one. Now we just have to hope our mechanism stays for the end. I'm glad I stopped the rocket halfway through so it actually was good. Oh. Yes, there we go. It cleans up all the goop in the second phase. See, this is perfect. Fully automated way of killing him. Well, weakening him. And then you have this OP weapon that does ha half the other job. Oh, mucks in my way? Not a problem. Well, over here it is. Bye. But there we go. This actually was inspired by a Yiga schematic, but we're missing still like a couple in this playthrough. You know, it's technically our first playthrough, but uh, when we did the Yiga challenge one that we're still editing through, uh, we recorded it the other week. Yeah, that is like, this is like a variation on one of the Yiga things where it shoots up a sprinkler system that rotates and kind of just makes it rain. It's good against this guy. It's good against uh, Queen Gibdo because she's weak to it. Um, that's probably it. Just the Gibdos, you know? <laughs> Take everything back, sorry for doubting me. It's okay, this is, it seems like one of those I'm just being total BS on, but I think it's quite nice. <laughs> it uses parts, but parts are in big supply. That, that actually worked. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, now we can kill Mr. Frog and then Gliak number two. Is that a normal guy? Do your worst. You wanna jump right on me? Side on ability activate. Not fast enough. <laughs> Wait, what if we get eaten while Sidon's ability is active? <laughs> Not like I'll know now. <laughs> okay. Do you like your three damage? It's fine. I'm just taking your Zonite because it's free. Oh, okay. Do the sucking strat. Okay, a little late, but don't get too close. Just try to run away, I guess. Oh. I'm trying to get him to suck me in when I have the shield active because I have no idea what it does. He just keeps doing that one though. Okay, um. I guess he can die a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> now he's. Okay. I'm trying to make anything work. I'm like. Ugh. Side on. 
jump. Okay. <laughs> At least let's prevent it for your calculated type heads. Oh, there's a skeleton. Well, I can muddle butt him, but I don't think I can. I'll just break them apart. Oh, wait, I can muddle butt him to. I can muddle bug the big guy, can I? That'd be silly. I never. <gasps> uh oh. Go after skeleton. He didn't go after skeleton. Okay. What was he budded for? He's no longer a bud. I will get digested. I don't care what it takes. Okay, if we're like right here, this is like, you're not gonna jump me, I'm too close. There we go. <laughs> okay. It's very craspy. Oh, and then you still get to shoot though. <laughs> well, I had to know, you know, that's just for, for the knowledge side of it. That's super important. We're getting a taste of this tasty cannon club. There we go. It's like a bomb launcher for this guy. Oh, I could use that. Um, or a boulder breaker weapon. Wait. What could I do? Retains the hammer property. Um, oh, not a lot. Maybe a talus heart when I get one, but... There we go. This is still like the best hammer thing to get for now. It two shots him. He's already damaged and I like shield bopped off, I think. I got my plushie. I'm, I'm all safe here. Eat me. Wait, eat side on action. Okay. <laughs> Trying to take one for the team, but with the ability. See, these guys are cute. They're they're doing a little bits of damage. Unlike the Gliak that can just melt me. Okay. Get a double hit. It basically just it's like another attack. <laughs> I'll try after that one. And then try after that one. Then try to that. And then try to that. There we go. What about? <laughs> OP weapons, you know. We finally just started getting like this recently. Have all the champion stuff fully here and uh, good pairings, good compliments. Figure for the late game, we'll just really refine our weapon types to this really specialized and interesting thing. So, this purely against like Froxes and stuff and just, you know, Froxes, Taluses, like things I can't do any really special tech against. Uh, meanwhile, this is really good for like flurrying, so. Uh, the star of like a rock Lionel fight could be really good for because we'll just instantly melt the armor. Um, it has better flurries. So I just have to get a flurry. This has nice uh, shock blasts. So that's kind of cool. That's a, just a cheap fire one because I have the spot. Yeah, it's all like a nice combination of things. Um, but okay, let's fight Gliok now. That was just like a random pin. Um, I'm trying to think, are we set? <laughs> Maybe I didn't fight that Frox yet. But regardless, um, let's go here. It's kind of closer. We can't get the Frox because again, I need it for the medals of honor. We technically do have the medal of honor for Gliox, but I'm just trying to get the parts. Because yeah, just the ancient heroes aspect requires nine guts and the Kings guarantee drop at least well, exactly one. The other Gliox is like a 10% chance only, so it's... It's so rare, I've only gotten it once, I think, from a normal Gliox. This 10% isn't very high. But okay, let's melt this guy. First strat's like the slower one, kind of experimenting. Second strat is, okay, we're refined. We're ready. <laughs> that was very calculated somehow. Let's see how many goes we can get this in. Go number one. 
It does shoot up more durability though. But we did it. That was just nice to see. It, it felt nice. It's like, oh wow. Satisfying. After the last one. But yeah, the problem is, since it's like the odd shape of his back, when you spin attack, you keep hitting like his back and dealing more damage to your weapon. So it's faster, but it does break your weapon a lot more. Upsides and downsides. Oh, I didn't know he had a full hammer. This one breaks it just fine, though. And more zonite, so it's like worth it. <laughs> By a lot. And we're using our fan. We'll get a new one. In three, two, one. Fan. Okay. Oh. It's like the only thing of use back here. I mean, the wings are kind of cool. Um, situational. Okay, now we're just air biking. Because Gliak then's there, this will be Gliak number two. The fox couldn't even wake up before he got slapped. We just gave a quick justice. Coincidentally enough, you got the Gliak Monster Medal today. <laughs> well, what a perfect day for that. Because the killing continues. Just here. Mm. Should we kill the Flux Man? I don't have much quarrel with him, but... We should kill the Flux Man. We should. I don't need that stuff back. Actually, if I'm being technical... Those boss Pokemon parts are pretty fun for fusing. I didn't know that they doubled in damage. Let's fuse power. Um, I gotta see them. Where are they? It did plus 12, right? All right. So this is normally plus six, but because it's an arrow fusion, all things are doubled. And this is per arrow, so. Also, if we do it a bunch of times, we can bump it up in our quick select. Yeah. Let's see how many it takes. One, two, three. Oh, it's only a two, but just four. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to use all my applied knowledge, stuff I either discover or like see other people discover or just anything. Still at that phase. There's a lot to learn. Actually, you know, this can make a good ore breaker for, like, the surface. Because it's long throw and... <laughs> literally a bullet. It is so much fun. Minoru, get out. Minoru, you just... You ruined everything. <laughs> Minoru! <laughs> I was trying to boomerang it. <laughs> but you didn't let me because your body was too big. Okay, look, we have to act fast. Where is my where's my time? What the? Don't even tell me I lost it. No. <gasps> Mineral walked right. Okay, Mineral, you're done. <laughs> no. I I hate you. Wait, we have one more shot. I literally love my long throw weapons. It's... You can't do that! <laughs> uh... Well, I guess we'll just have to get another one. Won't we? I didn't really need the flux two part, you know, that was are... a. There's better ones. Man, that really sucks. How do I disable a sage permanently? Well, it will be permanent, but they're good half the time. I know how you disable a permanent. Just uh, 
you know? Go like that, well, that, like this, and then just take a permanent marker, just purely over your screen, just right into it, so you can't see it anymore. Because, you know, permanent. It's not, if you can't see it, it's not there. Mm. Are you a long throw? You're... Ugh. Things have really changed since Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Long throw. Yuck. Throws it on immediately. This time. Long throw claymore. What? It's it's awesome. Like, they are just such fun mining weapons. Okay. Into the Gleak then. After that failure. And our first objective here is we're going to try to at least get one tail flurry like we didn't last time. We're going to start that way. The fight doesn't continue until we get our tail flurry. Or maybe we'll just start it out. Over. Because he's in the air and I probably will have to hit him out. So let's go this. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. One fairy. I do want desperate strength. I'm gonna see if this is work. I'm pretty sure you deal double damage against the Gliax head if it's like an elemental. So fire. I never fully tested this myself, but <laughs> sorry, worth the shot. <laughs> I've been sneezing like crazy. Not even peak allergy season, but just destroyed. Also, thank you, the OG Big Dip, for uh, the membership. Welcome to the salad. Okay, I'm scared. I think this guy's elemental damage, so I'm gonna take just normal hearts. I'm not sure. Let's we'll see, I'll just bully him out. This will work just fine. Okay, first one, we'll just use whatever. Also, most to use, it should be. There we go. It already got there and it mostly used. If you just keep selecting it like that. What the? No! What, what the? Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, Sword by most used again and. Okay, not enough to bump it up because I just started using them, but still. This, this is fun. It's a little, a little slow down. Do I even need the. I'm not sure if I need that, actually. I don't. I just felt cool. We got a little fall damage, though. Now, I gotta see if our strat works. Wait, first, just to test it. 54 damage, but it's fire. There's, like, that much damage. Uh, this is about 45. Okay, so I think it is doing double damage on top of what it does. Again, because it's like the elemental thing. But, you know, that's good for a melee weapon. And Gleak weapons don't run on their charge, so it's good. Um, now, Desperate Strength. Desperate Strength? Please. This shouldn't kill us, right? No, okay. Uh, can't be too safe here. I think. That's for strength. No! Okay, I'm, I'm not losing my fairy. I have to activate that's for strength, but I don't want to lose the fairy because that is like my only safeguard. So I didn't math right. I needed a little bit more uh, math skills. Hmm. We'll make it work. Maybe let's start with that, because... Why not, eh? Hey? What if we did just the shirt, but we did it twice with the bomb? That should work. 
now just a couple more hits. Wait a second. He's gonna set up his own demise here. I messed up. Nice. Oh, he, he hits the tree down. I forgot he does that. Ah! Maybe that's fine. I'll just try to do a little pepper strat. Use them together, get a little height. That's cool and everything. One for you. One for you. Get hit by the fire. That's totally fine. Because that's for strength. Ah! Desperate for this hit, though. <laughs> Burning all the trees. Not good. That was a lot of trees, my friend. It's guarantee the shot sees its target. Now we can go in with this. 48 to... Uh, fire. <laughs> Make sure hitting the right one. Okay. And should never lose this charge. Constant flame circles. There we go. <laughs> he just has too much health, so. But damn, that is cool. Not just a random one we picked up. Nothing too crazy, you know? But now we can be a little crazier. I missed half the shot. Side on, follow me. We're gonna try to get close to this guy now. Back off. Tail look, please. No! My wing shield! <gasps> Quit. Well, so much for that. I think I'm getting a bit more, but it's... That's so hard to time. <laughs> that was too close, and I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> just for strength is a little dangerous. That's just a lot of dangerous. What if we did that? I might need the five shot for this. Just hit different tar- Nice! Oh, that was really good. Alright, then that- That's gonna happen if you let it. Mm. Yes, please. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. okay. It's not doing a... I feel like it's not doing too much more of the ice one. I can't honestly tell, but it just feels like it should. I know it definitely works with, you know, when they're in the up phase. Yeah, the Gliak does not appreciate me that much. It's, uh... A little heartbreaking. I, I thought I showed a lot of love, just with all the time I invested into it. Getting head, of course, but... New wing shield, we have another Gerudo shield. I don't know why Gerudo shields are my wing shields, but they are. Um, well, you know, there's actually a good reason for that. Gerudo shields take less damage when, like, shield surfing on them. And since with a wing, you tend to, like, smack down on the ground. That means I'll last longer. I actually never thought of it that way, but I... Okay. It was my inner conscious telling me to do that. Good to know. Uh-oh. We're gonna make it without getting hit, though. Easy. It just does gloom damage! Yes! Oh my god, it's perfect. Oh, no, not the lightning. Okay, just gloom damage. It's fine. Manageable. We're gonna go into that one. And then gloom damage. It's fine. Manageable. Uh, not nice, though. Very... Okay. Not the lightning. Not the lightning. Wait, where are you? You're over there! No! I needed that. Uh-oh. What? Not a bad thing. Just... Snipes. It hit the head, but not the eye. I see that. Yeah. 
Ooh, nice. Okay. <laughs> Literally a flamethrower type sword. It worked. Yeah. Look how cool that is. We got one of each and... Oh yeah, I also get a crystallized charge. So it's even better than the other ones because you get a little bit of bonus effect. But yeah, technically the easiest Gleok to fight with uh, this combo because... Um, it does for strength. If you get hit by other things, you still keep it. So that's why I really want to use it for this fight. Yay, genocide. Okay, that's two down. The Hebrew one, this one. So we still have the uh, island one. Uh, Eventide. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the desert. <laughs> Sorry, I, remember, I was really trying to think there. Because I don't remember. So we'll do those again. We need the guts. Um, in the meantime, first, I want to up our weapon fusions because... Uh, there's still a few. I have an extra spot, which I don't know what I want to fill now. I'll probably sh still try to find another hammer weapon uh, for just general stuff. Hmm. But this guy. I talked about earlier, but Kolgara Jaw could be awesome. And while we're there, we can also get a good royal weapon. Um, I think I killed that guy, but I'm not too sure. See, it's like, I don't know. I pinned them all for my Medals of Honor because I just used the map as a reference, but I can't tell if I killed them or I shot them with arrows or whatever, or I just went around them. I don't know. Um, either way, yep, we could go there, check the weapon really quick, kill that Talus, get Kolgara, get some more weapons, then start pushing the next guy. I think that's a plan. Actually, yeah, first we can start with... Uh, we could get these other depths guys. They're like all right in a row and you know, it'd be criminal not to. Let's go on like a quick boss binge. Grab a couple things, but with the weapons, we should be able to just take them down easily. So might as well. <laughs> but yeah, hope everyone's doing well this Wednesday. Uh, so thank you for tuning in so far. We have still a lot more killing left to do because we basically just got started. It was a hell of a warm up, but Again, just the warm-up. I will one day Flurry Rush that Gleok tail. I did once, like, I think, like, the first or second time I tried, and then... Yeah, the timing is worse than most enemies, honestly. It is, it is like, a hidden move. I, I kind of see that. Okay. Keep Desperate Strength active for a bit. I don't want to be constantly blinking, but... For this guy, sure, let's keep it. Technically a fire... If only a desperate strength, uh, not that. But it's still good, we can just keep using it, because... Pretty indispensable, I don't need many of the fire galactic parts. So it's more so for fun. Okay, this guy. He's gonna turn around, because he hears me in 3, 2, 1. Do the froggy flip. He did it. Slowly. Not a hammer weapon, but still is indeed a weapon. This has lots of hitting potential. Come on, one, two. Uh oh. <laughs> Every fight ends eventually. Um, I still prefer this one. Okay. What's the point in that? <laughs> Let's follow it up. <laughs> That's one down. And for a little bit of self care, we're gonna hmm, eat a palm fruit, so we're not blinking to the next one. Some more of these charges, so we can buy stupid batteries and whatnot. Um, who cares about health? Who needs that? Okay, mineral time for this guy. Yes. <laughs> Do a right, left, right combo. I love how I can combo with Minoru. So, individual hits have a big delay in between them. But if you go left, right, left, <laughs> hits in faster succession if you use both hands. That's still like one of my favorite little hidden things. Not like super hidden, but it's like. If you pay attention, you can actually use that stuff to your advantage. 
Also, is blue white the highest tier? You thought it was obsidian? It's fair to think that, because, like, yeah, like, obsidian seems like it could be the hardest. Which is funny, because the official Breath of the Wild guide, like, the one you can buy in stores and whatnot, uh, it lists obsidian as the highest and blue white as the second highest because he swapped around the numbers by accident. Um, but, yeah, it's funny that even the official guy got that wrong. But, yeah, blue white is the highest. Um, which, yeah, I guess it's fair. It looks menacing. So, in its own way. Mm. I know different tiers have different moves. Um, and from what I've been finding out, I'm still fully making sure of it. But uh, in terms of like when they jump at you, like, you know, when they like start like wanting to charge and they pounce you, um, the normal Froxes do like one in a row. Obsidians do up to two. These guys do up to three. So that is like one difference between all the tiers besides just health and damage. So I'm not going to fight you because... Sorry, I'm not fighting every single one, because that'll be tedious. But I didn't know there was two right next to each other. That's kind of funny. We're just doing the ones I didn't fight, because that is for map completion, or game completion, rather. So, hello, is that a normal talus? It, it is. Oh, don't hit the bomb. Those aren't safe. This is, though. Safe for your sanity. Don't have to worry about me anymore. Is that Amber? Thank you. Hit me off. Oh! He stole the hitbox! For the damage. Does that? It's an easy way to keep your position on him. Or in that case, he didn't need to, but I did. Just Amber. I don't care if we take a little gloom damage. This has just been a stream of experimenting how we can kill these guys, and I've been having a fun time. Like, I've always loved the game, but now that we're playing it, like, well. With bigger gaps in between, I can spend more of the week. I'm just like, huh, I kind of want to try this thing next time I play Tears. And then, ooh, I want to try this thing. And we kind of base our stream around that. So I was kind of thinking of just different weapon combinations we can have and ways to take things down. And it's been fun experimenting, so. Still in the very early stages of the life cycle of this game. And it's been a blast. Also, okay. Been a witness to the massacres. So I promise to tell the truth and the truth only. Well, the truth is we didn't kill enough of them. So we'll see what the jury thinks of that. Judge, jury, but I'm the executioner. And it's fun. Late game creative exploration. It is great. Like the late game in tears is just, I mean, I love Breath of the Wild and I'm not gonna, there's not many things I can talk down on it for, but. Like, Lake and Breath of the Wild is awesome, but this just takes it to a whole other level. It's just having everything at your disposal, just like, do whatever. It's like, use everything up. Otherwise, by the time you beat this game, you don't use everything up. It's just going to be in your inventory. Just, you know, you spent the whole game like, oh, I don't know if I should use this. Just kind of stock up on stuff, using stuff that's tiered. What about the phase where it's just like, okay, 82% of the way through the game, map percentage. Uh, we have tons and tons of stuff. Keep using more, you know? So yes, an attack up is much more appreciated for this. Okay. Any weapons in the good territory. Which yeah, I didn't use night weapons for most of my mid game. Early game, reaching the mid game. But then beyond that, I didn't start using them until recently again. Because it's like there's so many other ways to deal damage, and I was seeing all the new weapons. Uh but man, they're just so much fun for killing like the bosses, you know? Sorry, I'm like uh, making sure. Okay, Hinox there. Hinox hungry. Tell's there. Stolen thing. Um, and yeah, Colgara there. Hmm. How's my day today? It's been going good. I uh, 
Well, I didn't get too much sleep last night. I just got like really bad migraines or I think they're called like cluster headaches when just like all the headaches like in your eye and it really sucks. Uh, so sometimes that happens, but I still have a lot of energy to stream today, but probably when I'm done streaming today, I'm going to crash. So, but no, this has been very fun. Uh oh, this is not the fun part. Hopefully that's not a bomb. It is a bomb, but you missed. Yeah, thanks for asking though. Um, <laughs> now, you know, we have a desperate strength weapon again. This time I'm gonna go for pure damage. Um, so that doesn't do too much more. I might go for that because we have disproportionate amount. I didn't actually know this was a hammer weapon until recently. I probably could use this against the uh, the Froxes. Next Frox. Okay. But anyways, to activate our desperate strength. No, not you. <laughs> this one's 168 now. I think this will be better for even Gleox. There we go. Minera, you want to finish him off? Of course you do. Oh. All right, you can't. Um, but we can get in your level. <laughs> We're gonna see eye to eye. Bye bye. Yeah, I like stall excellence. I don't really need that. This could be a fun minor weapon, but. Ooh, it's long throw. Okay. <laughs> Getting our opportunity back from last time. I'm taking this directly to the Talus. I think that one's actually a battle Talus, because I think I remember seeing it, but I don't think I killed it. Because it was like earlier on. So who was I to know? Okay, that. Then we can honestly just warp to that one, because I don't think there's anything in between. That's technically a Frox, but... Uh. Okay. For the one talus, we're just gonna. Hmm. If it is a battle talus, I'm just gonna jump on it and see how much damage we do. So for that, I'm keeping desperate strength active. Because it's gotta work. Blew your mind using the ceiling jump on the stone talus, the ascend thing? It's surprising that it works. I think it's the only enemy it does work for, though. Um, that and the battle talus, which that one's a bit easier because it's like the flat surfaces. <gasps> Heal Croton, but my desperate strength. <laughs> Hi, Platinum. Yeah, we've been kind of just d trying a lot of different things today. Uh, against Gleox, like, all the different, like, parry moves he can do. And attempted flurries. Uh, Mukdurak creating rain showers. Uh, and a couple of these just trying out the most damaging strat. Like, this one. Yeah! <laughs> okay, <laughs> one shots. I wasn't quite expecting the one-shot. Oh, I'm glad we were slow. You're not breaking my soul. Get him, side on. Okay, or me. That's a lot of amber. You know, I actually will take this for a temporary mining weapon. There we go. What I was trying to do earlier was throw it long. That's why we like long throw. Because it just throws like a bullet. And I, I, I dig that. Also, it's a ooh, soldier spear. Okay, we have all good stuff now. Like, this I'm kind of iffy on. This just looks cool. You know, you just have weapons that you just, I don't know. Like, we accidentally made this one time. I'm like, I just, I don't know. I just want to keep it. Um, the thigh club. I, uh, Yeah. Cannon Club, we just, yeah. I mean, that one's actually utility, so. Um, best Sneak Strike weapon in the game with the best possible modifier. Um, that's good for like individual enemies, rocks. And that's just the Mipha Spear. Frost Talus Hearts were so clutch for the second third of the game. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's fun of Mineral, like any of the ice stuff, because obviously Mineral can just follow up with it. 
On top of ice just being like objectively the best element. Mm. Okay. So now I think we're just gonna warp. I'm killing. F no, I don't have to kill the frogs. There's so many frogs we still have to kill for the medals of honor. I don't want to kill the duplicates still, because we still have like 15 left, I think. Hmm. Yeah, theme runs for this game definitely. Um, I still even have some Breath of the Wild ones left, but like the Gruda run for this game was awesome. They just are a lot lengthier, which is totally fine. Um, why a Kulgara? But yeah, there's so much more to do with them, like just different areas and ways to fully invest in all the different themes. Both the returning ones and the new ones, like Zone Eye and whatnot. So yeah, it'll be definitely something that we'll do over the next few years. Um, so, big plans. But this time we're starting early, because with Breath of the Wild, I didn't start doing theme runs until three and a half years after the game came out. So, yeah. Oh. I, I don't like these. I don't like every weapon being a wind weapon. That's why I have my Gibdo Gusto. But you know what I can do? I know what I can do. And we will do. No. Sorry, I don't want to do that. Colgara? Just me and you. I really need your part. Let's go! Wing Kulgaro! Woohoo! Get it! Flying back! <laughs> okay. I want to do this for a while. <laughs> Let's hope it lasts long enough for me to. Wait, can I go in from the bottom? I don't think I can. But I really want to try. <laughs> okay, don't let go, maybe. Wings typically have a two second lifespan. Wait, maybe? Wait. Uh, uh. I can board it! Yeah! No, it just kicked me off! No, I can't do anything! Mayday, mayday! It just sends you. Oh, you can't do. Interesting, okay. Wing! No! New one? Oh, you gotta already be gliding. Interesting. <gasps> okay, um. How can we make that work? We're making it work. Okay, back up here. Oh, yeah, we got the, like, gods here music going, so. Whatever happens, it's fine. Whenever you see. Or when you saw Colgar in pitch black. It's can imagine. Oh no, they lost their thingy. That happens every time. Win? There we go. <laughs> more and more height. So I think we just have to go above it a great deal. So do the ice move. Okay. I just need this to happen once. There's a lot of things to break. Get up, yes! Oh my god! Yes, it got one layer! Oh, I was trying to get both. Wait. Maybe this can be fine. Go like that. I say we'll take another Knight's Claymore. Um, in place of a... Uh, 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 I like all my weapons. I'm sure I can pop mineral up here. Okay, well, we know it's there. So I just have to get one good plunge on him. This is too fun. All my experiments. I think it's fun. There's so many things I just never would have tried, and the more you experiment, the more you can actually incorporate them when you're trying to do other strategies. 
personally, I'm the fan of doing that. Okay, also making sure. Yes. Can't take it out. Yes, I can. No! I, I, I can't button these. Well, there goes my... One's hit, one's... Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Talos Heart. Just make one good breakthrough. Also, I wonder if this thing regenerated. Oh, it... Yeah, I guess it does, because it's like an attack. But next time, I'm getting it for sure. It does get high enough. All the way over there. It'll never hit. Oh, he uses like all of them, I forgot. Just utter chaos. Go! Right in the center, get him! Yes! We did it! Oh, we can restart now! Yes! We made it through! Can you beat the entirety of Colgara just in the air as Minoru? I mean, your thing might run out, honestly. Uh oh. Or that might happen. I can't even eject. Okay. See, so you can't eject during that. And you. I assume you run out of stuff. <laughs> that was so worth it to see. I have never done that before. Go, Minoru. Woohoo. Okay. You're getting winged. If only we had a duplex. We do have a duplex bow. <laughs> Literally the best weapon for these guys. <laughs> oh, God. That's why double shot is so good. Oh, just barely out of range. Oh, wait. No, that's actually the good part. It didn't want us to skip the music. Wait. I'm going to do you guys a favor, okay? Okay, music back now. <laughs> Try to make it a little louder. Wait. Just had to enjoy it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That, that was important. That was crucial for the plot. Go! Plot! <laughs> Get him! Okay. <laughs> Fun fact, the parts of the song that everyone is obsessed with are remixes of Dragon Rest Island and Mulgara's theme. Both from Wind Waker, I know. It's funny, I really want to replay Wind Waker now. Which is funny, because that was actually what I planned to do uh, after Tears of the Kingdom came out. Or like sometime. Uh, because like before Tears of the Kingdom came out, I'm like, okay. I'll probably play Tears and I feel like I'm just gonna have an itch to play Wind Waker again and Wow, this just made it more apparent. I, mean, I mainly said that because it's only only 3D Zelda I haven't 100 percented so I wanted to do that. But it's also just so good, so. You can skip the second part always. I mean, it's cool, but. I forgot Mulgara. I sometimes the names don't come to me. Desperate strength. Oh wait, doesn't matter. Music time. Imaginary drums. Yeah. <laughs> okay, gonna play again. I'm just working volume controller for this. Get over. Go to the beat. Perfect ending. Okay, that was a perfect ending. <laughs> I had to do it like right as I was about to fade out that part. I'm sorry, that was just... Mm. I was really feeling it. I gotta say, it's 
it, it's got to be objectively the best song in this game. Uh, also, yes, this is my reasoning. Okay. <laughs> like, the biggest boomerang. 65 damage is very good. It does do 50% more damage. I thought I'd have a slightly bigger hitbox, but honestly, that's fine. It just feels cool. It, it might, though. What? Whoa! Wait, what? It get... It slows... You know exactly what we're doing with this. It slows down at the... Is that with all giant boomerangs? No. <gasps> what?! You, you couldn't always do that, right? That, that They just added that, right? In the last update, totally. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Most have always been in this game, but it wasn't a Breath of the Wild thing, right? Couldn't have been. Oh, this is going to be fun. Too fun, actually. Um, Okay, where's my... Uh, I know I can get more weapons. More weapons, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't need them. Um, what I do need is... What do I need? Kill something. That's a Hinox. Yeah, giant boomerangs bounce off bosses, though. So they're not good boss killers. Okay, I'll find a singular enemy camp. Which should be, like, everywhere. Oh. I didn't do that Yiga base. There's got to be an enemy camp on this way to the Yiga base. I forgot I'm still missing a couple of them. Okay. We'll find one. Do a speed buff too with the boomerang? <gasps> no! You should not have told me that. That's too dangerous. Not for our sake, for the Bacoblins, you know? <laughs> but I appreciate it. Ho ho ho. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Oh my god. Like, everything is happening today, I'm just in love. Like, this is great. I don't know how effective this is actually going to be, but it... It feels like it's going to work like I think it is. We're in for an awesome time. So I don't think I need Mr. Uh... The Traveler. That's a knight. Yeah, if I want desperate strength, I want like the best of the best. So, two ended usually. So I don't mind cycling these, because soldier or royal is preferred. Oh, I forgot I could have like. Oh, well, <laughs> I think it is ultra random out, but I forgot. So. so hi bombs. I feel like I use more than I pick up. So I should probably pick up occasionally. Doesn't giant boomerang send them flying? Uh, true, but maybe against moblins then? Hmm. But it sends them flying, then you can just run into them, right? Sorry, I just, I just gotta know. Also, best place to farming bombs. Honestly, it would have to be a depths region. I'm just not sure which one. Uh, whatever depths region has a lot of trees, because every tree is either a bomb tree, a muddle bud one, or a puff shroom. And if I look it up, it won't be the best help. Here, let's do it right now. Uh, so I'm going to pull my browser, object map in the description. Uh, bomb flower, it's just set to the depths. Um, I'm going to have to like, yeah, it's not even, <laughs> add them all, all uh, 6,000 down here. <laughs> so wherever you think the most condensed area is for bomb flowers, which is kind of everywhere, but flat is easier to traverse. So maybe desert or like, look at that. That's a lot of bombs. You can get a lot of bombs. Not a problem. Just don't go to Elden, because there's not bombs there, obviously. Some areas are more dead like that, but... Um, 
bombs. There's a lot of them. So you will find them. The flattest area, depths area, all the trees. Okay. Make it work. Wait, speed potion. This has to work. Oh, wait. No. Oh, <gasps> my fairy! We're resetting. That's my only one. <gasps> okay. I just I needed a moment. Yeah, imagine if this was in Breath of the Wild. The whole time is needed years later. Oh, so yeah, speaking of bomb flower, in Ocarina of Time, Gorn area was the only one with bomb flowers. Now it's the exact opposite. Every area but that. I don't think so, pal. I can parry him back, but look, I just have different ways of doing things here. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's one way you can do it. I was... Um, I, I was trying to, like, run it into him, you know? Oh my god, it works for so long. Wait, we have to try the speed buff. Let's just experiment here. So, if I throw it, it doesn't matter what the order is, actually. So, 30% faster. Bad throw, I guess. Oh my god. Oh my! Oh, what the? Just, just... It's, it's a buddy! <laughs> no way! No way! Come with me. We'll freeze everything we see. <laughs> There's nothing here to freeze. Guys, what is the best way I could use this right now? No, this is absolutely nuts. I've never seen this anywhere. Yeah. Only problem is you can't see where we're going. I can see just fine. Oh, it's gonna break the thingy. Oh, there we go. Ah! Man versus boomerang. Dun, 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 dun. No! <laughs> it's been following me for a mighty long time. <laughs> Take a boomerang across the entire map. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. <gasps> I feel like you could. Are you cutting? Cutting. Sorry, I ate like a ton of stamina food there, so like I want to reset. Um, we're making a bunch of stamina food. Um, can I get a boomerang from one side? Of the yeah, just like start in the desert, go all the way to like the Akala Tech Lab, just sprint with the boomerang, just keep going the whole way. That'll be so funny. <laughs> A better plan. Here, I want to see. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I could parry it back. That's fine, though. Okay, we're doing this first. <gasps> um. Ooh, the read your defense segment will be good against. This is exciting. Yeah, I gotta see if other boomerangs work, but I feel like it's just a giant one. Button to this mouth. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, it's, what was this one again? Monsters not sleep. Okay, uh, yep, they don't sleep. Glory to Koga. Mm. <laughs> Very lazy giant. Hi, Max. Secret hot spring. Yep. Okay. Connection between depths and surface. Sorry, I don't need to read those. It was just pointing out the hot springs. 
I'll read like the funny ones, you know? Not, oh yeah, there's a connection between the depths and surface. Plus we just read all those in the Eagle one. That we just did. Excavator, okay. <laughs> Wait, throw a vehicle, or throw a boomerang and then drive a vehicle? <laughs> the vehicle. Wait, can you do this in Rika? Oh my god, wait. I'm not saving this one directly. Oh, yeah, I messed up pretty bad. <laughs> okay. Go like that. It's very much so a maybe. I don't know if the frost will still work. Okay, the frost part doesn't still work. We can still do other stuff. That is cool though. Um, yeah, second off, we can try that. We'll just try a hover bike. If it's depths, I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna hover bike if it's just like, sometimes there's not too much else to do. I only use it for depths and occasionally dragon stuff. If there's just a dragon I'm trying to get right away. That went really fast. Should I try it again? Probably not. I... Yes. No, it's possible. Watch this. 100%. Let's gotta get to the slow part. Oh. Too close? I think so. I know the plan, but I don't like the plan. Oops. Oh, no, I had the exact plan now. Okay. This is going to sound really nutty, but I have to activate it so it starts flying right away. I think this sounds so stupid, but... What the? That does not activate the bike. And do they not activate bikes? I was trying to activate early so the fans start running. So by the time we're on it, it's already like well in the air, you know? Okay. Oh, it does. What the? It just blew far back. Okay, so that's a problem. Um, does Toon's ability affect it? I don't know. Also, Boomerang's very effective against Gloom Hands. Uh, I've used it before. Hmm. That's not going to help too much either. I'm so dumb! I figured it out. How do we how do we not do this earlier? Involves a recall still. Okay. I of course I really wanted to work, but you see. Okay, and plan like a billion. Uh, we're gonna use a fashioning bow. No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. If this works, I am gonna be just enthralled. Uh, I don't know the word. Um. Damn it. Where'd it go? Oh, far. I see. <laughs> so it is gonna be harder than I thought, and I was hoping it wouldn't be, but... What I could do here is just really try to fudge it.
It's right on me, isn't it? Damn it. I know it can work. Add, add a rocket? Um, that is actually very smart. Thank you for being uh, the smartest people in the room. Compared to me, because I uh, did not think of that. Wow. I think I'm still gonna run a bit because it definitely had the best thing going for it. Oh, that's not a good position actually. Um, this would be a better one a little bit. Man. Okay, there's still enough rocket juice. It just needs to start, you know? Wait. Can I just... I feel like I had the right idea the first time, but I... <gasps> no way! No way! Oh my god, our boomerang buddy! Yes! Yes! Oh, this is beautiful! Oh, this is amazing! Okay. Maybe it does have an eventual lifespan, but... Or maybe we got too far. I Either way... That was one of the coolest things I've ever experienced in this game. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know what did it. It was distance or... <gasps> maybe a time limit. I guess we'll see. Let's restart the save. Right, it was after I took on the base already. Um, but even a time limit, like, in a normal combat scenario, that's not going to be a problem. <laughs> okay, um, okay. I think Orca said earlier, cut grass in Hyrule Field. That is a fun thing, too. <coughs> oh my god. My sneezes are just, like, sneezing out my lungs. Uh, sorry. Um, allergies. Let's go... What's like the best flattest camp? I guess a lot of different. Hmm. My favorite ones are to bully are here. I actually never did in this run before, ironically so. Yeah. There are some fun ones to bully right there. It's like a pack, like boss macabons and everything. So maybe let's do that second. First, I just want to try it over here. I think here should be fine. Um, yeah, I forget where like all the camps are, but you know, if there's a good one right there by the water, that could be kind of fun. Yeah, that'll be a fun one. Okay. Oh, best place to cutting grass is the Ulna Martin Range in Akala. Is that the uh, northern? I'll figure it out. I think it is. So <laughs> Akala's not that big. Yeah. Oh, this is just amazing. I'm having a blast today. Thank you guys for being here. Just <laughs> totally hamming around with uh, all the silly stuff. Okay, I think this time I will eat something. Let's actually uh, make that a priority. So <laughs> we had a lot of food. Um, for one of them, we'll just have a nice... What is the goal today? Nice seared radish. Scrumptious. Next, we eat the radish. Totally forget about the fact that we're still recovering. <sighs> That's fine. I mean, no, it's not fine, but... <laughs> That's fine. Okay, next one is stamina. That's right, we could use more. How many bubble gems have we gotten? I think I forgot to update. I said I was going to, but uh, six? I think there's six left, so. Yeah, left, not gone. Okay, there we go. We have two extra of those foods. All right. <laughs> that was not pleasant. Sky Shroom. Sky Shroom blind 
Fine, we're eating a bright cow. Okay, first, our lawn mowing service. Could, could it be wood cutting too? I, I, I never tried to really cut. Them. Okay, it, it should not be wood cutting. Good to know. It doesn't damage us. Nice. Does not seem to be a good lawnmower. Oh! <laughs> Cuts at the end. Wait, what if we water the uh, boomerang? Oh, nothing. Okay. Um. What an interesting thing to happen. Oh. <laughs> he turned to fish. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That, that happens. Okay, first thing. I don't like these bomb barrels. Just... Okay. But I think you guys need to chill out more. Okay. <laughs> We're making it work. Go! Speed! Something got him down. Okay. That could have been distance, too. I, I don't know. Or just getting stuck. A little bit uneven. So. Oh, it's putting off the fire. Nice. <laughs> this is how we save Hyrule. It's like vertical. It's literally vertical now. <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. Okay. Um. Just because we're messing around. Oh, of course. Then it ends. Wait. Don't even... No. No, wait. We have two. We have two. Okay. No, they're hitting hills, so... You can do... I'm sorry. Well, we're going to try this once more. First, I'm just going to try this. Break them out. Is shattering ice enemies ending the thing? Because I do have to consider, like, everything here. Okay, yeah. I was taking a too hot of a turn, does it? Killing, maybe? Okay, um, see, I don't mind just kind of learning. Like, learning's totally fine to me. I'm gonna go to an area that has a bit more openness. If I can get two boomerangs going, um, we can test the thing if frozen, shattering a frozen enemy breaks the boomerang path. Um, oh, can I freeze a bunch of platforms underwater? Probably. Hmm. Okay. More preferred area. There's this one. There's just a chain of bacoblins. There's not many distractions. Uh, yeah, it's flat. I feel like that's a good ground for just killing guys, you know? We like that. That's good gameplay. Um. Whoo! <laughs> Fire service. Fire fighting services. That well, just gave me an even worse idea. Fire services. Just set everything ablaze with the strategy. Oh, no. That's not going to be fun. For, for the grass. Um, easy warp in the sky above. Oops. Uh, seriously? Oh, I guess kind of. <laughs> oh, well. We can do the Gleak afterwards like we were talking about. <laughs> you know, the title of this video. Hello, cows. Should I take my stuff first? I, f I feel like I should. You know, we're here. Also, I really don't need that stuff. I'm going to be honest. If I went back every time to got parts I don't use. I get much more utility from, like, all the other services. 
That's an activity that just takes too long at this point, because I just have a billion, you know? Oh, cooking shop out of commission. How about shop shop? Yeah, we're just here to get the stuff that matters. Like the balloons, because I think those are silly. Or, you know, if I know how to climb. <laughs> Saved. Freshly caught and free. Technically, I don't need that, but the monster part just set. At least these are like, well, monster part. Um, redacting myself. Because every time I go back to that one building, it takes like at least like a minute and a half to get everything. But these, just this line, much more time efficient. Where does the stuff I actually want? Or maybe not that one. Hello, Frida and Bilson. Yes. Uh, Sky Skyview Tower workers. Fresh scent of the waves. Because they don't have that. They just have the one lake that they're surrounded by. So relaxing. Unruffles the feathers. Fruits of the sea. Blue shell crabs? Is there blue shell crabs in the game? Or just the iron shell? I guess they're blue. There were blue shell snails, but they removed those. They're like too many hardy things. Wait. I think I know what to do. Where's my monocycle? Balloons went from one of the coolest items in Breath of the Wild to one of the lamest in this game. They just upped the stakes so so much. I get that though. Oh. Bananas. Sorry, we'll pay the insurance. Oh wait, I should not do that. I wonder if it's going to work as well with the monocycle. Oh. It's funny, it, if you don't catch it, but if you catch it, it usually doesn't affect you. So maybe if it hits something else, I don't know. I don't know the laws behind this, to be honest. Come on. It's like hit backwards, but I can't hit backwards because you know, the shape is awkward. I just want this thing to follow me. I'm just happy there's a new boomerang trick. Because in Breath of the Wild, there's a Magnesis catch one. It's not a Breath of the Wild game without a boomerang trick. That's like hard to pull off, but amazing to look at. Okay, it's probably going to do the same thing twice. Yeah. Well, I could try the other one at least. Cause at least this one. Oh, what the? Oh, what? The? <laughs> we just did it accidentally. We're a little far ahead of it. <laughs> no, okay, it is a time thing. Both games have a boomerang trick. Yeah. I don't know. That was interesting. Sorry, I just had to try that. So, I'm, I'm glad we did. This doesn't seem like anything else important to me. Oh, the sun. Fuck. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna try this. Hi, cow. Beep, beep. Oh. No pain. Preserve the cows. Oh my god, 461 bananas. So what happens when you put this many Yigas in the game? There's not even enough banana storage. That's accessible to the player, at least. The bananas are now bunched up. And, like, rope twined. In the hideout. So. Is there everywhere else? Okay. <laughs> Oh, what's this place before? I've never seen this before. Um. Oh, 
All right. I'm gonna start that. Eat that fruit. Oh, not that one. We need the speed speed. And this is our speed speed. Go! Get him! <laughs> I am like mega focused doing this, and then we go. Bye bye bye. Okay, shattering the frozen enemies does a little bit of a ick. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, for some reason... That one isn't super good. Oh my god. Just destroy them all. Screw it. Run into them. I think it might be the Kulgara part, honestly. It, it does seem to be screwing up a bit. Yeah, I don't know why I keep stopping, you know? Is it the Kulgara part doing that? The other one's awesome. Like, you know? I think it's stuck back. I mean, it still does a lot of damage. Okay, that multi-hit was good. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, it definitely is getting stuck on things. I'll say a rhino's one is extinct between the years of Breath of the in this game. You gotta make sure not to be mean to the cows. That's a very good point. I will still be somewhat mean though. No one man can change all that extinction. So, they'll, they'll still repopulate faster than we can pull. Yeah, it definitely is related to the hitting though, because whenever it did fall, it, it was because it just hit something. So it could be the fusion part itself too. Oh well. Um. I don't care, that was just awesome. But I don't really need the parts and I'll rather use that for something more important. You know what, we're gonna reload the save. It was cool, but I would like to preserve the durability for an encounter that's more meaningful. This is like my test site kind of thing. I'm out of water. You know what, let's kill the Gliok. But that was awesome. <laughs> Can we make it there? Assumably, yes. Uh, would it have been more helpful to go there? Yeah. Perhaps. But this is still fine. I also really do need to refill my water really quick, so I don't know how we're going to do this. Hmm. What if I just like set my controller down somewhere? And just let the bike kind of go. I can refill my water really fast. <laughs> this isn't going to work that way I hoped, actually. I need to refill my water, and it's going to take like a minute to get to this stupid Gliok. Oh my god. I'm just splooshing myself to death. <laughs> we could have had it if we were just patient. Okay. Do I have a rubber band? I don't. I need to, like, do this for something. Just... I don't have rubber bands. Why do you need rubber bands? It's, you know, it's like ancient technology. It's funny, it's... Rubber is technically ancient in this game, too. <laughs> Breath of the Wild reference. Haha. <laughs> um... Ugh. Does anyone else do this? What's your, what's your way of just, like, idling your controller in a certain way to just... I gotta refill my water. It's not like a horse where I can just let it path. Leave and come back? No! This is more entertaining. Or, like, multitasking. It's... But we're gonna make it work. Okay. Um. 
I'm gonna make this work. I don't care. Yep, water time, really fast. We are back. Woo -hoo. Um. What is going on? <laughs> why, why are we turning like this? <laughs> uh, I, I don't think we're gaining much elevation now, are we? Okay, I can now be hydrated. Oh. What a genius plan. Wait, are we where are we supposed to be? <laughs> Sorry, hi, I'm back. <laughs> um, where, where is this stupid... Silly me. Expecting to get up there in five minutes. It takes at least 20. Um. Oh, wow. It's right there. Okay. Good thing I was doing circles. I didn't just run off the map. Next time, I'm getting a warrior band. There we go. King Liak. Okay. Well, interesting. That was certainly a way. <laughs> I, I kind of rushed, but I have nice and tasty water. Uh, very good beverage, probably my favorite. And yeah, makes it so I don't shrivel up and die. Yes. <laughs> Hoverbike was drunk earlier. What was it on about? Oh, I could have run out of battery too. I didn't consider that, but um, I'm happy it didn't happen, so. Battle fit for a king. Okay, this is number three. We have a strategy for this guy. This is not a boomerang type fight. Um, put those tactics to rest. And we only do the best. What, the, what didn't die? Oh, you. <laughs> a little bit of fall damage is cute. The head is like dangling. We got on the pillar. Wow! <laughs> okay. Boomerang just bounce off. He still did some damage though. Ooh. Look at that bouncies. <laughs> Whoa. Almost in its blast radius there. At least we have defense. I'm, I'm actually just going to go for the tankiest stuff possible. Not quite that, sadly. 72, I think, is the most we can do. Yep, I believe so. I'm not going to look at everything else. I know we can get more once we fully upgrade zone it, so... That with Champion Tunic should be the best combination. <laughs> Got one. What should you do? Ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just wait for the shock balls or whatever. I'm just gonna avoid these. Okay. Or that. We're just doing the elemental damage now, so. I will Flurry Rush's tail. I don't care what it takes. There we go. You take that, and you take that, good sir. <laughs> Gotta go with a fire guy, but they don't aim super well. It's so nice to get the heads, though. It's kind of cool. Oh, and then you got the everything. For the everything, we we also give it everything. Oh, they just shot each other. Oh, this will be good. Oh, just... No? Okay. Ooh, it took down the head. Uh-oh, I need my fucking back. Uh, 
if you don't mind this. Apologies for the accent earlier. Get tool in our side on. If you get around it, I think we can get the tail up to work. No! No, I got sight on! I was trying to tail up him. Okay, so if you go around back, that's how you get the tail up to activate. Which is what I want to do in the future. Ah, no shot. Oh. Still took a point of damage. I may not know the bounds of this ability. That's why these are here. Can you parry the lightning one with metal? Uh, no, you just get this arm like we did. But with wood, you can, I think. That's a theory, but very plausible one. These ones just fine. Oh. For my sake, I'm just, uh, you have to actually parry it though, otherwise it's not good. Go, and then the next one. Oh, get a fire, come on. Three for three. No. <laughs> We're failures. I don't think you can parry the slime down either. I, I would love to. I, I love my parries. Cool. That was a big radius. Also, you really can't fall the sound, because, you know. Big bad island. All right, side on. So I feel less, more, more better, I guess, about this. Ah, he went up. <laughs> Not intentional. For me. Here, you used to do the slam down. You know, we're gonna get you down and then just next phase will make it work. I will get this flurry rush. It needs to be a cannon event. Okay. Oh, baby damage. Alright. Nope. <laughs> if I don't get it this time, I'm just gonna get him down to the next phase. <gasps> yes! It's possible! <laughs> the tail whip flurry is real! <laughs> okay. It technically won't give you the damage bonus, but it's just cool that you can do it. I'm so happy! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Baby damage. Probably more damage with not up. Up, uh, a two ended. I wonder if we can get a double. Flurry though. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't try that today. We did enough, but next time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's stood up too. So get it out. Ow! I'm just blasting my weapon back. We got him still. Okay. This is good. It just. The range is. Whoa. Sucky. Um. Okay, we're going back with the eyeball strat. With five shot, this is like the wonder combo. Woohoo! Yes! Okay, now my goal is to destroy. You know, I, I guess. I don't have another idea. No damage, woohoo! Uh, if I can get Desperate Trank to activate, no, not this fight. We did the last one. Oh, but there we go. Side on, spear. Give him the final phase. Come on, I think a third is about good. All right. I don't need to do this, but I'm doing it anyways. Okay, can we do this part damageless? Probably not, but I mean, with Thunderhelm, easily, sure. Probably the music. Level. Late game stuff. Oh my god. Imagine if there's a twin robo fight where you had to parry ice and fire attacks at the right time to beat the opposite ones. Oh man. Hey, at least like that there's like a multi elemental boss in this game. Because then Breath of the Wild had so much elemental, it's like finally a multi one. Stupid ice. Ice is not nice. Oh. Yeah, very. So not. Uh oh. I feel like ice is still the best strategy to get. Ow! 
Wow! Again, my last fairy. Um. Last time I checked, it did like a, almost a full row of hearts, but I think we can supplement that with that. Unless it ignores armor, I have no idea. It must be. We're just doing a lot of damage straight up. I'm just trying to avoid using my hearty stuff. That's like trophy food, you know? You won't kill me if I'm like this. <laughs> right? Side ends in the way. Okay, don't strike me right here. I can't see. Oh! Bread, I've had you. Okay, we can make another fresh pie. Okay. Wheat, butter, salt, hearty base. Okay, good. What the? Oh, I'm in the cloud layer. Wait, no, I need this. Tulin, get over here. I need your gust. Whoa, fire! <gasps> okay. He asked for it. A one. <laughs> that is so brutal. I love it. I haven't been using that, those things forever. Bye bye. <gasps> Oops, fall damage is a thing. <laughs> Damn, okay. King Lair, three down. More guts. Um, Very gutsy indeed. <laughs> Well, that was nuts. Um, I, I loved every second of that, too. Just different ways to do it. We finally got the tail whip parry. A lot better at just the parrying in general. I don't know, the combinations, like, not getting shocked. Um, I almost rode up successfully. I still have not done a damageless yet. Uh, well, without the Thunder Helm. I've done it damageless with the Thunder Helm. Or Lightning Helm. Oh, see, yeah, I keep bringing them all Dazzle Fruits. Those are good for them. <laughs> Okay, well, that was good. Three d down. We have the Heber one, Eventide one, this one, uh, the Gliak Den done. So the final one's the Garuda one. Um, before we do that, I'm just going to check our materials and what we need, because I think there's some other good stuff around the Garuda area that's good. Um, yeah, getting these Dazzles is very nice. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I got all these. I don't think I missed any. <laughs> I know, sometimes it's common to forget the loot because you're just like, wow, I killed a behemoth. Not thinking of anything else. Um, but if I were to think of something else, just to like take a breather, we need to get some more food and everything. Um, I could do amiibos really quick. You know what? Kind of out of pocket for what we just did, but um, we have been trying to collect the gliders because I do want to put a new one on soon. We've been rocking the, uh, the Ganon one for a while. Looks cool. Fits a lot of Zonai outfits, but... Um, it's, it's time for a fresh change of pace. So, let's scan our last three that we have. Um, not that. Amiibo. So, because we have all Amiibo gliders but three Amiibo. I think two of them share the same. I don't know. But, first one is Princess Zelda from Smash Bros. Twilight Princess. Last two times we scanned it, we got the, uh, oops. <laughs> we got the Dusk Bow two times in a row. I have no idea how we got those odds. But, Hopefully the paraglider. Um, another dusk will be funny, but I don't need that because we have two. Oh. Okay, I, I would have preferred the bow. Um, what a fun stream! Yeah, thank you, Orcafar, uh, joining in. Hope you have a good night. And uh, in platinum, your dazzle fruits are easily your favorite item in the game. Great utility, and they look cool aesthetically. I have to agree there. Just literally bringing like a little sun in your pocket. It's like the cooler looking version of the Star Fragment. Because you can throw these two for like a light effect, but it's, I don't think it's damaging in any way, just aesthetic. And expensive, so. Mm. Okay. Sorry, itches. Okay, let's do the last two amiibos, because I, me too. <laughs> okay. Last two are the Twilight Princess ones. Uh, at least in Breath of the Wild, they sh shared the same draw tables. It's uh, Link, Smash Bros, and Twilight Princess Anniversary. Um, 
I don't know if they share the same drop table in this game. Because it would be the only amiibos to do in this game then, too. But let's see. Start with Link Smash Bros. And no, I don't save before using them. I just I just try them once per stream. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. Because we got all, all but three, so, you know. Icky, icky. And final one is the uh, well, anniversary one, so yeah, Twilight Princess. You have to scan these ones somewhere where a horse can't spawn, otherwise they'll just spawn amiibo or a pono. <laughs> yeah, you don't want a pono because I already have a pono. No, okay. Icky, but we still have one that we got, but we have to turn in, or rather two of them. Are the inner inventory or they are? The Bygone Royal Fabric, which is Toon Zelda. And that one just looks glamorous and amazing. And the Silly Bacoblin one. So that, on top of all the other Amiibo ones we have. So we're just missing, I believe it's those three. Uh, we scan them every stream. We just got the other two last stream, so. It's possible that any one of these streams we could finally finish them out. But okay, um, let's see what we're doing for the upgrades. I feel like not too much has changed. But I do kind of want to eyeball what we all have. We now have money to do the upgrades because last stream was all about making money because we were dirt broke. We made a ton of it. We made like at least 20000 but we spent most of it on upgrades, um, which is fine. That's the point of money, to spend it. <laughs> so we're going to go back to whatever that place is. Great Fairy Fountain. Okay. <laughs> Make your own glider fabric. Tears of the Kingdom mod. Yeah, just like draw your own, like like the Animal Crossing like shirts and stuff. Just import that same editor into this. Make your own glider. Also, yeah, Star Fragments and Magic Rod is a very aesthetic thing. We had it for a while, but yeah, it just got to the point where it's like, okay, we had it in there for enough. I'm just going to swap it. But I do understand the need for an aesthetic weapon because that's why I have this. I don't use it. I just like how it's like a heart on a stick. Because we just happen to have this rod and I'm like, oh, there's a talus heart. I can't even pick it up. Just going to fuse it to something random. I'm like, wait a second. That looks cool. All right, that's right. You can swing it. No durability. Unless you hit something. So yeah. Purely aesthetic. <laughs> When we go to Hateno, I'll I'll make food soon. Yeah, rather not in Hateno, we'll we'll heal up at the stable, make food. Um, this first though. So lovely pit stop. So as you can see, not a lot, because Gliok Guts, yeah, it's guaranteed for uh, King Gliok's. It's only 10% chance for normals, but I'd rather just kill King Gliok's, because you have to kill on average 10 normals to get a Gliok Guts compared to one King. Um, luckily, we're good on the other parts. I still need Skyward Sword Shirt, but we'll get that eventually in time. I thought I would have had materials for at least one thing. This is Ferocious Horn, um, which... We are kind of going near the area where Ferocious could be, so maybe we'll nab that. I am trying to max out everything. Again, it's 100% playthrough. We're just doing a lot of experimenting and monster killing today. I hate them for this one. Five diamonds just for the tier three. Um, yeah, just a lot of stupid stuff that's like... Maybe next year we can make like a material, you know, like oddball one. We're going to be in the area with electric lizzles, more of them. Wolf and Trout. I know, uh, by Rito Village or some, but we didn't go back there yet. Okay, stuff like this. So, killing the frogs is, is... Did we only get one frog's guts from the two we killed today? Must have been. Okay. Gib doing, we'll have to find a cave or depth stuff. More Hinoxes, so which this time, for sure. Well, do good jaw. 
We could kill Maldugo easily. Oh, okay. Th there's our other ones. I was missing stealth fins. Okay. Of course, I needed two more. Mm. Well, technically, even more because I need to upgrade the hat. Sticky frogs. Ah. Mm. It's it's something. <laughs> Make a little progress. <laughs> also, it's easier to get diamond drops in tears compared to Breath of the Wild. I think the drop tables are the same. So it really depends. It's like, it's, with tears, there's very specific areas to look, like certain caves or like Elden. Where Breath mm -hmm. of the Wild, there's hot spots all around the world where you can get ores. Um, mm -hmm. So I think they are technically easier in Breath of the Wild, just because there's so many more. But if you're looking specifically for diamonds and tears, it might be easier. So, yeah, just how you think about it. Also, I could have sworn another thing here required Gib Gibdo guts. Did it not? Or I might be going crazy, which, yeah, I, I um, that's fine. I think I'm going crazy. I thought something else required Gibdo guts. Maybe it was like Moblin or Lionel guts or high enough. Yeah, there's a lot of guts. <laughs> Good thing we had the guts to kill him. Uh, <laughs> he he. Okay, so what I could do, Desert has a lot of zap zap guys. Um, I don't know. I'll find them somewhere. So, Captain Construct 2 are another one. I just have to, like, keep this in, like, a mental little checkbook. Oh, that's just going to be so much fun. <laughs> Major scale for no reason. Nope. Okay, it must just be that. So, I only have to get a few more of them. That's good. I thought it was more. I just, yeah, I, I thought wrong. All right, that requires dumb stuff and... Oh my god, more of the parts. Just everything. <gasps> oh, fun. The fangs. Okay, so just... Man, six more. <laughs> if we need a scale from a dragon, I'm sure... The dragon's always flowing around here, but not this time. Either way, we're going to a tent after this to get a new glider skin, so... Maybe we'll see him then. Oh my god! Lord Fries! I forgot I left you here! Yeah! Let's go back to the stable. You've kept an actual notebook to keep track of the item upgrades you need? Honestly, that's smart, because you can kind of just make a little like, checkbox system or... Yeah, it's something that's with you, especially in between sessions. Because... I feel like that's the biggest detriment of me playing this save once a week, is that... Yeah. Specifically that, just remembering those fine two numbers. Most other things are finer, even better. Okay, let's sleep up, then we'll cook up. Half off. Um, Melania bed? We're energized. It's only 25 now, so it feels good. Mostly tips we know, but I think now they're just like cooking things. Herb saute, yes. The spice and the plant. Notebooks are nice mementos of the first playthrough. That's true. It's like you can look back on it, physical thing. points just to get carrots or whatever. Ah. Ah. Yeah, big footprints. I think we have all these. They, they look nice, don't they? Alright, let's get to cooking and then we'll get to killing. Yeah. <laughs> cooking. We need um <laughs> cooking. Hyrule party was the one thing I saved. <laughs> I don't remember all of them offhand. It's easy to forget. Wheat, butter, salt, fish. Okay. So a lot of Amori. Uh, <laughs> uh, wheat. Wheat and butter. We have to buy more soon, too. Cook it up. Fish pie. I just like having the options, you know. 
sorry, wheat, of course, and salt, of course, and I guess anything hardy. Cook more delectable bread. <laughs> Very yummy. Um, do we need more stamina? I don't know. But I'm cooking it anyways. What are we doing for meals? Uh, I have one more. Yep, we're, we're making at least one more. Good emergency food. Uh, two for the max, and then... Yeah, I just make it all bread, because you, you just gotta have bread. Like, bread's important. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> My eyes were going everywhere, but where I need to be. Okay, there we go. Nice selection of bread. This is our trophy bread. Seven hearts is good. Eating. Uh, <laughs> a lot of trophy foods, because you just look nice. Usually, the stuff in like this row, the skewers and the rice balls. For general consumption, this thing's for general looking. Like, looks all plated perfectly. Caprese. Fried chicken. Nutcake. So good. I just like having a nice selection of food to look at. I am a food fiend, so. Um, okay. We'll go there for the Hinox later. In the meantime, yeah, our. Gliak is there. I don't want to fully rush it yet because we can get some other stuff in the meantime. I didn't explore that. Um, that's just a talus we can get. Which we need like everything to upgrade our stuff. There's just a frost Gliak up there. We could try fighting it. The chance of getting something it gives me an excuse to just explore here for a bit. Get that. Get the frost Gliak. Maybe get a gut. Keep warping our way. Get the king Gliak. It's all in the Gliak nature, so. Yeah. Maybe we'll get some lizard parts for stuff. <laughs> yeah, when we need a break, we'll go Hateno for a glider. I did kind of, I was like, ooh, let's do it. Oh, it's not. <laughs> While we're in the cold air, I'm just gonna be wearing cold stuff and attack up when I need it. Oh, so what was this one? Oh, the Blade Master one, right. He's no longer there. Bye bye. Hmm. <laughs> it takes you into this cave. There's not many caves that are stacked like that. Um, also, I lied. There's a dragon, and I want the dragon. We, we need a horn from the dragon to upgrade the Tunic of Memories. Oops, I break it. Oh, there's Flame Gliok. Okay. You know, this stuff is all fine. From dragon chasing, we need this. That's just like a given. Okay, horn for this. Nature scale will probably get later when we're in Hateno. Um, just to swap our glider. Those are both for upgrades. We're like almost done with dragon scale upgrades uh, in terms of like actually getting them. We're gonna be a little crazy right now and just uh, kill these guys for parts. There we go, a one, not a two. <laughs> Why did it take so long? Please the tail, I need the tail, I don't get the tail. Right, left, uh, don't hit the, okay. <sighs> we need to get all these guys on the way. Yeah, we could do too. Nighttime. The dragon will keep its path, but more importantly, I need all elemental tails. Oh. <laughs> I don't think the shift changes yet, so never mind. Because I know they're... Oh wait, those were the morning ones, never mind. Okay. Wait, then noon. 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 Okay. <laughs> I was like, right. I forgot what time the shift changes are. It could be 9 to 4. I didn't see what time it was earlier. There we go. They changed. Stab for you. Stab for you. Nice. 
It's like a one in four chance, and there you go. Killed four lizards, earned one tail. It is my first one. <laughs> we have no other tails but that one currently. Such a random rarity. For no good reason. I will get this guy. Please make it worth it. Nope. <laughs> one in four. Let's kill one more. That's how odds work. Like how they made it so hard to miss the dragons and tears. Because just, you know, so much more part of the story. Which makes sense. But yeah, in Breath of the Wild, it's like, sometimes you don't have to go out of your way. Which was cool in its own way, too. They felt a lot more special. Well, now it's like, yep, dragons are more, more prevalent now. It's also just a very hidden thing. Which I appreciate. Oh, so yeah, we could have turned it for the other ones, too. Still, it's like the best way to farm these. It's for upgrades. Because it's all needed. What the? No. <laughs> I just made the fire. Of course I want to use it. Mm. Okay, now let's go with our <laughs> flame blade. It's basically where we have it, just for these guys. Tail. Okay, three. Of so I got three so far from this little hunt. I love that so much. Um, forgot there's a bunch in this cave. Yes, I know dragons over there. We're kind of on like a tangent uh, turn of events, which is fine. Also, let's. Oh yeah, just that stuff. Okay. Wait, we, were, we weren't there, were we? Can't place any more pins, but I... What did I pin? What the hell? I'm trying to find like an entrance to a cave. I, I don't know. Like, the west side of that mountain, apparently. Okay, so I was never there directly. It could just be like an item or something. It seems like one of those like ascend things, but... Still kind of neat. Bye bye. Two for one. And we got a tail. I like tail. It's still the shock ones I need the most of. Oh wait, I thought they were. Never mind. I thought they were on the inside too. I was wrong. Techn technically, an ascend thing. You know how there's a Gliak right above us? We'll just kill the Gliak there. Maybe we'll go back to Hebra or Highlands. I know I've changed my path like eight different times since we've been here, but it's just how this game is. Yeah. Oh. Get back up. Get tall. Thank you. Oh. Hey. Hills aren't not my friend. But parts are. We'll catch up to that dragon, don't worry. I'm just waiting for it to go over the uh, chasm that's like here. And then we can just warp to that Skyview Tower and get the dragon right away. Yep, it's right behind the Great Plateau. So it'll be there by the time we finish killing this uh, guy. Killing many birds with one stone here. So yeah, the plan is obviously Gliok Genocide, but we're getting parts for our armors. So so that includes all the elemental lizzle tails, uh, a couple dragon parts left, and yeah, <laughs> liak parts for fun and also, well, for the ancient set, the, the hero's aspect set for upgrading at the level four. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a little hot. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I hate this one because he just dangles his head right there. It's such a bad part, part to start on. I hate this Gliok. Just shooting heads in a barrel. Oh. 
can I always kill this one too tactfully? I'm just, I'm just kind of making do. That's fine. We'll roast a bit. I don't want to use desperate strength because I have a lot of stuff. Um, wait, it's heat. So sight on. There we go. Cool stone. Oh God, it's good. Still some damage. No, it's just hitting side on. Left and right. Yep. I know you're a good shield. Okay. You're a good shield, but. So I don't know if there's any health difference between the normal Gleox and the Kings. That's like a maybe? I don't think so. Maybe the heads are tankier in the other one, in terms of to get him down. But I can't confirm that. Unbearable cold. Oh. Right, because it's technically cold here. Uh, I could make yep I'm using this for now or sorry the trident the best thing here wait a second what if I activated fast charge with because yeah you can get faster charge with the elemental sets right but while I'm dealing the damage I could switch to my attack armor so we're trying out a combination so, she's a hot weather charge. Wait. Oh, right. It wasn't hot right there. <laughs> it's cold during that. So, let's try it next time. There we go. I kind of did the trick. Whoop. Honestly, a duplex bow could maybe finish. Maybe not. Cause that one's kind of higher health. Let's go with the normal three shot. There we go. I got Troy something here. Side on. We're gonna go. Yeah. Quick charge. As soon as let go, then we switch to our attack. This is minimizing downtime like crazy. Oh my god, yeah! But I think he gets a fast right. Anyways. Ah, damn it. <gasps> this weapon was fresh at the beginning, but we slaughtered a lot of Gleox this way. Oh, that's okay. The only time I got a gut from a normal Gleox was actually this one. Uh, it's only a 10% chance, but we got lucky. And I told the story before, but yeah, it was. Uh, Right after we got the quest that was in the same region, like right by this, where we have to give someone a uh, Gliak gut for like medicinal purposes. Um, so I got that quest and I saw the Gliak up here. I killed it and I got the gut. So I assume that you like purposely get a gut just for killing this Gliak. And the only other time you can get it was King Gliaks because I only got it from Kings before until I knew how the drop table worked. So <laughs> it's like one of those misconceptions in my head. It's like, oh, the first time you kill a Gliak after this quest, you get a gut. But that's the only time. But no, it's just a low drop rate, and we happen to get it coincidentally for this one. So, interesting. Mm. But now, okay. Right before we get that dragon, I'm just going to quickly... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do that. I just really want to see what that ruins is. Not necessary at all, I'm just very curious. So it's the green marker. It just seems like that one specifically has like an ascend thing in it, and it could be fun. I could also be very wrong. Okay, Gleox and King Gleox have the same health. That's what I figured. Uh, I think if I just fought, I was just scared, and. You know, earlier in the game, I was taking down Gleox with like elemental weaknesses and you know no no because they still have their own obviously I don't know why I thought so maybe I'm just like more scared when I saw King Gleox I was like oh my god he has so much health <laughs> but it's the same yeah we'll we'll pin it on that also maybe there is nothing there and I am just a fool and that's okay maybe there's a Korok and to that I am going to try to fish it out 
throw something here, it's a clock. Or nothing. It might be a nothing. Okay. No. <laughs> my time, my sanity. I don't think we found a single quark today because we haven't really been in those those parts, you know. But I will take another part. Thank you. But not thank you because it wasn't the part I wanted. Was this the whole cave? There were some really uh underwhelming ones. Oh, I guess it's meant to be an ascent thing. Yeah, but it is like the it's supposed to be like ways to get around, which is cool. But you know, okay. Um, so glad we at least know there's nothing. Now I really want to get our uh, friend. There's also a palace there. Okay. Okay. Another gameplay video of Tears of the Kingdom. Uh. I am editing a new challenge run. Uh, probably still needs a bit because it is a long one, but uh, yes, there will be another one coming out soon. Oh. Dragon time, indeed. We like dragon time. Don't know what I'm wearing, but pretty common outfit. Back in Breath of the Wild, we just want to do damage, but you're also trying to explore for Koroks. Just the compromise you made. Also, where is our stupid dragon? Were we too late? I don't know. Definitely, actually. So, hello, other Gliok. And hello, like, all the wells here. Yeah, I want to see the dragon was still going down this pit. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I had a feeling we just missed it. Uh oh. Not the beam spinners. No, oh, thank you. Okay, we're gonna go... Lightning helmet? <laughs> it's funny, there's literally topaz earrings right above it. It's like, huh. Do you want one shock resistance or like all? I guess better defense, but yeah. Look, nothing beats a lightning helmet. So I don't think you take fall damage on the dragon, right? Which would make sense, because, like, the finale utilizes that and everything. Also, do I have the tiers guidebook? I do. Uh, I've re referenced it a few times. It is definitely good, because it provides a lot more, like, stats and stuff that I wouldn't have known otherwise. Not even stuff that was data mined right away. Uh, so I think it's good. I think they just saw the interest in, like, people wanting to know, like, specific stats on things. And they included a lot more. Which was nice. Um... Some standout ones to me were like, they actually like revealed the stats of how like cooking materials impacts the cell value. Because they changed it for this game. Uh, but usually it's like, like obviously every raw ingredient has a cooking price, or just a selling price rather. But when you cook it, it increases that, but depending on how many ingredients are in the cooking pot, uh, it's like a bigger multiplier. So if you have five separate ingredients in the cooking pot, or any five ingredients, uh, It'll be multiplied by 1.8. So 80% more rupees than, cook, than selling them all individual. So if it's four, it's 60% more. If it's three, it's 40% and then lower. Um, so that's kind of nice. Sorry, I'm like thinking. It's the horn, okay. I'm gonna use this because it's nice. So stats like that are in the guidebook, which is kind of cool. Onwards! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. We like hidden stats. Also, it's a Knight's Claymore, but we already have a good one, so. Oh, pass. 
What's up? A Giga base we didn't do and a high. Hmm. Well, we could see if our uh, our nature friend is here. I feel like nature is always here when I warp. Also, do I have collector's edition? I do. I. Hold on one second. <laughs> Funny story about that. I've had it here for a long time. I've never unboxed it yet. Um, and I have one valid reason for that. Like, obviously, I really wanted this. Um, I, because I got the Breath of the Wild and everything, too. Uh, you know, the Breath of the Wild special edition came with, like, the carrying case and whatnot. Uh, but this one I didn't open because there were a lot of things that were considered spoilers to me when the game first came out. Uh, specifically, like, the art book that had, like, a lot of spoiler things. So, I didn't want to open it until after I beat the game. Because I didn't want to see things in here first. Uh, I'm going to open it. Yeah. This is my blind opening. I don't know what's in here. I just know there's an art book. Like, I genuinely do not know what's in here. Uh, and I was just waiting. I'm like, okay, when I beat the game. And then I beat the game, like, three months ago. And then I didn't open it. Because I was just... I didn't think of it. That's how I was going to do it on stream. So, we're just doing, like, the one-minute version. Because I have no idea what's actually in here. Uh, besides an art book. They did, like, a collector coin with Breath of the Wild. A carrying case. A map. A soundtrack CD that didn't really have the good songs on it. Um... Um, okay, there is, like, information. Okay, that's, like, steel poster. Huh. That's, like, the whole Calamity mural. Yeah, the Ganon. Okay. It's in its own, like, box. It feels very nice. Like, ASMR. Uh, <laughs> One second. Sorry, this is... I want to do it on stream, because I have... Oh, it's not that, actually. It's, uh... I don't know the best unboxing camera, but I'm gonna try. There's nothing. <laughs> Woo! It's the tears artwork. <laughs> That's actually really cool. It has, a. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. There's, like, a cleaning pads it comes with. Uh... But that's nice. It's on the green screen, like, clips into it, but it's very metallic. Uh... No, it's like a high-quality one. It's got nice rounded edges. Um, icon, whatever that says. Um, yeah, it gives you like cleaning pads for it, uh, for when you attach it. However that works. It's like magnetic, so you put like the magnet tape on the wall, which is here, and then stick it to the back, I guess, and then boom. I gotta put this up. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's got nice, feels nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, next. <laughs> yeah, I, I genuinely did not know what was in here, so. This is very cool. Yeah, the only thing I was taking out was the game, so. But I didn't take it out, my girlfriend did, because I got my copy digital, but for this, I got it, but she got the game out of it, because I already got it digital, so I could play it right away, uh, where this came in later. Um, oh my god, and I guess just a huge box where everything else comes in. All right. Um, I mean, the packaging is just so nice. I have to give props to that. Um, we're going to keep the game running. Is Nadra in the sky? Sorry. We're going to have a nice little background for this. And good music, you know. Nadra's not here, but maybe Nadra will show up. <laughs> Nadra's going the other way. Oh, we'll warp to Kakariko afterwards to get Nadra then. Um... Okay, there's like a nice... I don't know what it is. It looks nice, so... I think the bottom thing's the art book. Okay, let's see. This is... Looks like the box to like a... A straight razor or something, I don't know. Ugh, get out of there. A lot of packaging. Um, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It has... Okay, stuff. <laughs> I don't need to like... Look in detail to all detail. It's good packaging, though. Oh. They're pins! It's the, uh... The Four Sages? Right? Wait. Is that their symbols? It is! Tulin, Inobo, Sidon, Regio. 
Okay. <laughs> they had to hide the other one because Minra's a secret. I think I vaguely remember seeing something about there will be pins or something. But it's very... Yeah, they are like pinned. They have like the stoppers at the back, you know. Um, pins. Okay. No, that's interesting. They're metal ones. I don't think it'll taste good. Um, yeah, sage pens. They are very nice. <laughs> Waiting for me to open this. Yeah, I know, Viv. I'm just like... It's talking... You're, you just got the game out right away, but I didn't see anything that was in here. So... Um, that's cool. Yeah, this can no longer just sit on my shelf. I think this is a steel book, actually. Yeah, the pins are very nice. Uh, we'll show everything one more time at the end. So I'm just like, why, why not do that stream? <laughs> Link's enjoying it. Let's put on a more fashionable outfit. Let's go, uh... Oh, yeah, very fashion. Okay. Wait, no, tears. Tears. Um, fr frog pants. Okay, per fashionable. Um, so I think this is like a steel book? I don't know. I never actually got one of these before. I think you just put your game case in there. It's supposed to look cool. And uh, it reflects a lot of light, so you just see the light parts. Just changing my camera uh, lighting. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually... No, it's like a custom case, but it's steel. So you want to put it on your shelf or display it. And then, yeah, has the Zelda Sonya thing. Oh my god, my... Yeah. And the plastic inside for the game. That's cool. That's actually really nice. And nice clinky seal. <laughs> Some people go feral for steel books. I, or feral for steel books. I know they're very popular to collect, so... It's interesting. Um, but now, okay, the last thing in here is the big thing. The thing that leaked like two months before the game came out and is the reason why I basically got off the internet the entire time. Uh, I was like on an internet hiatus from for like a four month period. It was from like two months before the game came out because this thing leaked to like two months after is when I beat it. So there we go. It's reflecting all the lighting and just like being funny. I have to take off the plastic though because plastic reflecty. Yeah, we'll get an Ager after this. Don't worry. When I'm just like unbox or unwrapping, I'll. Yeah. Boom. Well, it's got the, uh, like the hand symbol activator thingy sideways. Um, I can't flip through the whole thing. It's a pretty thick book. How many pages? Uh, 195, about 200? Pa 200 pages. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do the best of my ability to show like a page or two. Okay, got the seal of approval. <laughs> it's all written in the ancient languages. Is that just a paraglider? It's like when Link first jumps. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this thing leaking early. You know, I'm glad I stayed off the internet so I didn't see anything. It's like when he first jumps out of the Raru resurrection thing. New paraglider design. Um, one second. <laughs> flip, flip here. Um, you got like a battle talus, which we've seen. Skyland armor. The first pages. <laughs> story time with Croton. There we go. So not my story. Uh, we're gonna flip around. Oh wow. Yeah. So I'm glad I didn't see this right away. Well, it's got like the battery stuff, which is cool. This is only really, like the Riju thing, where you shoot with the lightning arrow. I think this is actually part of the dungeon. I didn't remember there being camels though. Like on the walls. Was there a camel? Or like Naboras, I guess, is a camel. So, was it in the game? I'm just noticing because of the art book. Who knows? Oh, yep. It has like the scaling. So, Bokoblins scaling up. Um, I think that's cool. A little backpack designs. We'll, we'll do like one more. <laughs> is Minru's library in it? I don't know. It seems kind of foreign. Oh, yeah. Literally like dungeon stuff. So, it's definitely the thing that you read after you beat the game. Uh, wings. That's the rotating block in the water temple that just flies you off. You gotta like shoot through it with like bullet time, but yeah, it's it chaotically spins very fast. That big block I can't point to. <laughs> I'm not good at like doing things, showing things on camera because I don't, you know, that's not what I do. I just talk <laughs> and play game. But 
It was really cool. That was the art book. The uh, steel book. Well, last time. Shiny. <laughs> um, the pins, which are nice. All for metallic. Sidon, Riju, Yunobo, Tulin. And this really neat metallic poster. It was all just amazingly wrapped in there and stuff. It had really nice packaging, which is, well, I, I guess expected, you know. But um, a very neat selection of items compared to the Breath of the Wild one. Totally different. I feel like it's a lot cooler. Um, it's meant for, you know, feels like a hardy collection. Where Breath of the Wilds was pretty fun. I mean, the carrying case was the best part because I don't know who hasn't seen the Breath of the Wild carrying case before, but um, it is the one I still use. One second. Sorry, I just stood up to grab it because I didn't think first. Um, yeah, I still use it to this day. It, it's a carrying case you can only get basically right away. They never made them again. Uh, but it's really cool. So, it has like games in there and a pouch for your stuff. Yep, pouch for the game. Very well made case. Even a lot of cases don't really have a lot of good room or sturdiness. After all these years, it's probably the best Switch case I've found. And it's the one you can only get in the edition. Uh, so this is the best part. Everything else is kind of like, eh. There's like a soundtrack CD. Like, an actual like CD. You know, people don't even have CD players anymore. Uh, it only had like 10 songs in it. Like, the Talus theme or like the Towns and stuff. None of the real bops, uh, sadly. Just a bunch of kind of random assortments. Also like a collector coin and a map. Um, or... The map was like a tapestry of like the Calamity Ganon mural. So really, you, you get it for the, for the carrying case. Which, by itself, was the coolest out of any of the special edition stuff, but Tears of the Kingdoms really just has a lot of really good stuff. And no, I didn't mean to flex, I just really like talking about it, because I don't really do a lot of collector stuff, so I'm just really proud of the two collector things I do have. It's like, nice. You know, I, I'm, I'm happy when they put good items in it. Because like some things are just like random. Like, there's a lot of collector's edition of games where it's just, like, total junk, you know? Uh, th this stuff feels cool. It's made well. You know, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, like, peek over make things. Sure things are in the frame when I show them. <laughs> I'm no good at this. All right. Neutral outfit, just the test. I like this one. <laughs> Yeah, less blue hints, more gray, but the blue hints that there are just pop more. Especially with like Zora weapons, glowy weapons. Saturations. Okay, uh, we were, got two new glider skins. Okay. I do like that. I've used most of them. This is glow in the dark. I don't think I use this one. I use like 70% of them. The rest of them are just like, they look cool, but even with alternating them fast, I didn't get to use them all. But this is new. I think this has some sparkly bits, yeah. I like when they have different textures or glow in the dark. That one just neutral and nice. Very, very nice. I really want to use that one. The Princess Glider. But classic Zelda Princess Glider. I think that's the only one. And it was the Wind Waker one. We like eggs. Neutral. Oh, this one's so pretty. Like, sorry. Just love like the purple, blue. Uh, it could... I don't know what would be the best pairing. I feel like it's good with like custom combos. Like if you do uh, like a lot of the dragon sets but dye different colors, that could be cool. The best objective. Uh, also, I do like this one. This is the other new one I got. He's silly. Pixel, that's also silly. Okay. I didn't really use those ones. Uh, definitely pretty cool. Apparently this is glow in the dark, but I didn't get to test it. And yeah, I like bear and yeah. You go. That's for the compendium, which is it's goofy. Or <laughs> glamorous. Oh they serve it. Yeah, they all kinda of have their own like neutral stacks. I'm glad there's a lot of good neutral ones. You don't pop too much, you just suit a lot of neutral outfits well. Or something silly, I like that. Um This one, yeah. So many outfits goes. Like that's probably one of the best pairing ones in the game. Especially for all the Zonai stuff. Zonai sets, dragon sets, whatever. Good shine, especially Royal Guard. I uh, need to use that more. Hello. Okay. And I'm still missing a couple of the base game. It, I'm assuming there's one for Addison, and I'm assuming... Well, 
If there were to be any more, there's probably one for Addison. There might be one for Caves. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what the Addison reward is or the Cave reward is. So I'm glad I'm still going in blind for that because I don't want to know yet. Because we'll get there eventually. No rush, you know? But screw it. This one just looks awesome because just the shine on it. I think it only pair with like two different outfits, but new one. Okay, not as shiny as I thought it would be, actually. Oh, well, I guess I'm in the right lighting. Or maybe it's just because it's yellow. I think that will only pair with Cece's hat. <laughs> Everyone's favorite hat. And I guess it looks all right with this. Let's kill Gliak in Goofy style. Just for one. Might as well, because honestly, I don't know what I can really pair that glider with. Or it could be shiny at nighttime, that's true. It is a good hat. See, I, I think it's funny. Um, I really like Hateno's questline for a lot of different reasons, but I like how specifically Hateno and like CC and like that questline, it feels like one of those like Pokemon like pre-gym questlines, you know? Where just like silly town shenanigans and you fight a gym battle. But just without the gym battle, you know, just like with how extravagant she is, just like, I'm the leader of the third gym. The Hateno farms, like, dun, dun, I don't know. I, I just like the vibe I got and it was silly. With their expressions and everything. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, wild child. Half a year. Congrats. <laughs> there you go. Time certainly flies. Like the chicken. Okay. Um, maybe bully this camp of enemies and then bully the King Liak? The, the last one. Yeah. Throw the bomb at me. I dare you. I dare you. Oh, he's gonna hit the bees at me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> or hit him. Das is fine. Oh, he's gonna pick him up? I think so. <laughs> Alright. We have a better funeral coming. Uh, <laughs> as soon as I get it out. There we go. Frost emitter. Oh, there's a lot of guy. Wait, did, did you? Did you dumb brain? What, what should I expect from one of you? Okay. Well, you dumb brain. Uh, I'm just glad to be alive after that. No, smart brain. Oh. <laughs> Randomly climbs the ladder, just trying to back up. Nice. And then outrun it. Okay, where'd it go? This is fine. Just don't run it. I have to track a bit. Woohoo! <laughs> I love how it's infinite. If you have the speed buff, then it works, but. As is, it's fine. Nice. Okay. It interrupts a lot, but. For the extra damage, it's. Very hardy. Yeah, I need to get my friends out of the way, because they're yucking the strategy a bit. <laughs> Me trying to whistle sprint during that, forgetting that it's gone. Here. He's actually stuck. I'll help. Okay, unstuck for my final ability. Woo, there we go. And his weapon interrupted the, the catch. That's kind of funny. This thing is too silly. Oh, oh meal space. Oh, I actually, this stuff I have to have for the, I guess I don't have to have it anymore because, uh, well, we'll just wait in that case until I can eat it all at once. The frost emitter completely break the boomerang soon? Actually, no. Uh, for whatever reason, using the frost, any of the emitters uh, doesn't wear down the durability of a boomerang. If it hits something, then sure. But using it, no. It's just like attacking a Lionel in the back. It doesn't consume durability, which you would think it would, but no. Um, 
I think just a little zonite charge, right? Yeah, it's using like battery and stud. Which regenerates. Um because it's like if you have a frost emitter normally, you know. Wait. That's actually something I don't know. I think it could just be a weird quirk with boomerangs, but I'm pretty sure it takes up durability with anything else, so. If we do like that, for example. Oh. <laughs> I have my sensor to sticky frog. Um. Yep, that took durability. Okay, so it's just a thorn boomerang cork for some reason. They probably just forgot to make it work like that, but no. If you throw a boomerang with an emitter, it does not take durability. Only if it, like, hits the targets. So everything it hits, I think it still takes a point, I think. Um, but in terms of just what it, d like, if the ice hits something, it's totally fine. But if the boomerang, like, hits something, like, on the way back, uh, then that will take the durability. But not the ice touching itself. Or the ice emitting, for that matter. Because it's not, like, a direct attack. I don't know. It's it's cool. So definitely use it. It is good. Lizzle tails, I think, do use... Or maybe they don't. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can try that next. The emitters and Lizzle tails are both very good combos for him, though. Hmm. Either way, let's build up a power weapon. I just like having my power similar. So flashy. Okay. So it's right next to the Master Sword at all times. Yes, I will take Sticky Frog. I, I think I just said it's something random at one point, and not a bad thing. Where is? It? Oh. We actually did need these. <laughs> yeah, don't know why I did, but I did, and thank you for that. <laughs> I think they just spawned after I beat the camp, because it wasn't going off earlier. But yeah, we're in the region for them, so it makes sense. Yay. Also, you know, I totally forgot about Nadra. <laughs> we're like, let's do Nadra, and then we didn't, and then I guess it's fine. But we need like a scale from Nadra. So maybe we should get a scale from Nadra. I think it's to upgrade like the snow boots of all things. Okay, Nadra's probably not in Kakariko anymore. Probably in the depths. Yeah. So scale from Nadra, then King Gliok. Rush. There's some mechanic that lowers the damage when the boomerang's thrown. Uh, if anything, when boomerangs get thrown, they do 50% more damage. So, it's the opposite in that case. It's just not taking durability because I think it's just a little bit of an oversight. Or maybe an intentional oversight. Because, like, attacking a line on the back doesn't drain durability. And that was from Breath of the Wild. They just never patched it, I guess. I don't know if it's something that needed to be patched. It's just, you know. Never changed. Oh, you mean that boomerangs take less damage to their durability? Uh, so a mechanic that lowers its damage when being thrown. Yeah. Well, in that case, it nullifies it because if I had like a sparkle effect on the boomerang and I threw it with that, it didn't hit anything but the ice got things, uh, it would still have that sparkle. So yeah, it, it must be a hidden, like, an intended mechanic. More so that than an oversight. But more so a hidden one, because it's like you wouldn't expect that at first. So how do I remember all the facts about the game? I mean, when you're playing in a decent bet and you're purposely trying to like learn stuff and then utilize it, uh, that helps. Because if you're just like learning stuff, like you go online, you see like facts videos or like tips being shared around. That stuff's cool, but if you're not utilizing it in your game right away, a lot of that stuff gets lost in retention. So like when I learn stuff, whether it's me playing the game, experimenting myself, or sometimes seeing stuff, you know, online, I'm like, oh, I'm actually going to try that in my game. And there's like infinite ways to do stuff, infinite fun. Uh, and because I'm trying it, I can associate every new thing with like a memory of me doing it, and then I'll retain it. So that's basically how that works for me. And it's fun that way. Because, yeah, more variety at the end of the day. So I see a Yiga base. Yeah, we did that one. Okay. Um, 
Okay. So Nadra is somewhere that I just have no idea. Is Nadra's rod above or below that? I wish I really knew. But I'm sure if we go here, we'll find Nadra. <laughs> yeah, that's how the stats videos are made. Maybe Frost... Maybe emitters just... Like, don't deal damage to the weapon when thrown, in general? That's an interesting theory to test. Um, ooh, what can I test it with, though, at the moment? I don't want to lose anything, so we're just going to create a save. Because that could be something. Maybe just the durability doesn't drain unless it's a regular attack. Because I was just thinking boomerangs, because it makes sense to throw them. Here, really quick. This sword is fresh. No durability drained. Um, frost emitter. Keep it controlled. Okay, again, still fresh. Hitting the wall wouldn't drain durability, so. Oh yeah, you're right, okay. <laughs> I didn't even consider that. Uh, still in that experimenting phase, but thank you for that idea. Yeah, so just, if you attack with a weapon, that does drain the durability, but a throw, for whatever reason, does not. That makes sense, because it's usually like interesting interactions, like, and that's where certain mechanics wouldn't be present where you would think so otherwise. So like as I said earlier, like attacking a Lionel in the back, unlike almost every other attack in the game, it's like a special attack that's designed just for that enemy. It's like usually an enemy, or most enemy attacks, you can just attack just out in the open or to an enemy or just doing the basic slash combos. Um, stealth strikes another one, it's like a fixed attack. But with the Lionel one, like it's specific to that very enemy to that weakened state. So since it's like a specific type of attack that's specific to a certain enemy, uh, it doesn't take durability because you didn't code that in. Whether intentional or not. So yeah, very interesting. Um, so in this case, because throwing a weapon did not drain durability in Breath of the Wild, but they didn't consider the emitter thing, or maybe did, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of layers to think about, but I think that's cool. Don't worry about throwing your weapons that have emitters on them for durability. Maybe it has something to do too, so like, if a weapon's about to break and you throw it, it doesn't just break midair. When you're, before it hits the destination, I don't know. So I'm not after you. Okay, I think we just screwed up the Nadra thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know its depths rot very well. So... We're gonna come back when it's actually visible, which is 90% of the time. And honestly, I talked about doing more Highland stuff, but I kinda wanna kill that Gliok now. Cause I think that's long overdue. Start here so we get a nice way out and up. Huh. Nice hat. The CC hat is wonderful. We gotta have all the silly things now. We did a lot of, uh, serious gameplay earlier so yeah totally serious when i say serious i mean like by eight percent so also i love this area the star <laughs> there it is okay for now this is fine we made a lot of air bikes today but we didn't broad travel we made our zone it back from all the froxes we killed so <laughs> Just barely. Woo. I really like this area. Not too many unique Sky Island areas. But that was cool. The lighthouse was cool. Uh, the factory with all the lasers that were coming down. I think I listed all three unique Sky areas. Two of them are right next to each other. Because most of them are like, oh, bring the crystal from here to here. And there's usually like a... Uh, Construct or something. So not as much variety in the sky as I hoped for this game, but stuff that was cool was cool, and it wasn't like an overbearing amount where it got too tedious. It still felt cool going up just for the atmosphere and the different change of pace and the music and everything. You got the Gliak medal, not too hard, but it is a lot of flying. That that's true. 
Like, I was fine with it because, like, I don't think I was actually trying to get the Gliarch medal. Just by the time I f finally figure out, like, how to get the medals and whatnot, I I think I had all the Gliarchs killed already. But I just got it. Um, yeah, I believe so. Because I was trying to check out every area once in the sky. Um, so I eventually did. Also, I was trying to get the uh, Sage as well at the time. Um, I was trying to get them all before we beat the game, which actually we did. I was surprised I didn't miss a single Sage as well, like just while exploring here. Like by the time I visited the last island, which was uh, actually the one above Evan's hide, the, the Gliac we just fought, the King one. That's where you get the 20th Sage, sage as well. I was like, oh, we have them all. Um, other things, not so much. We probably missed a few Koroks and we missed a lot of old maps, like at least like 10 of them, so. So the fact that I missed all of those, but I didn't miss a single stage as well, was very lucky. So I still want to go back for the maps for 100%, but later. Most definitely. A lot of flying if you want this, but we really want it. <laughs> so getting the medals is one thing, but getting all the guts for this is another. Would it have been faster from the desert? I have no idea. You know what, maybe. Maybe I'll know for next time. But in the meantime. Wow. We're like vertical. Oh my god. It's not low grout. No, it's not. We're just straight up vertical. But the platform's not. That's so funny. Got a good amount of the armors from the old maps because uh, did the light roots without a guide, so a lot of the old maps led to stuff that you already found. Yeah, that's basically how it is. Uh, see, I'm still missing one depth armor, uh, which is the Skyward Sword tunic. I don't want to use the guide to find it. I'm, I will find it. But since I'm getting all the old maps, eventually I'll find that one old map, like one of the few that I missed that has that armor pointed to it. Because it's probably in a grove before I realized that groves had some of the armor pieces. There's always a chest in every grove. I didn't know that about the depths. But okay. Silly strat. So who needs attack buff? Uh, we just need silly. Do we have attack buffs? Uh, nothing level three, do <laughs> We have the Porgy Munia. Uh, Porgy Butter... Okay. Um, let's try to do a damage less, Gliok. We're going to try our best. That almost kills it. I don't think there's a way to fully kill it then, if that's what that did. Maybe if he fudged it so he did the elemental eyes and he went to the right place. I don't know. But... Almost all for one's pretty damn perfect. You know what? We're gonna take that. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's a good strategy, but... <laughs> you don't get the critical hit from hitting, I don't think. Yeah, do nice criticals here. Maybe you do. No, my fruit. <laughs> Doing a damage list regardless. No, wait. It just broke off the dazzle fruits. What is that range? I like never use them against Gleox. I think I did once. I'm not too sure. Could be a false memory. Who knows? Does it just interrupt the attacks? I don't actually know. Maybe. Move again. No! <gasps> Rip to damage less. Okay, so just interrupts the attacks, which is very good and makes sense why they put them here. Anyways. Can't do it for the life of me. Stay 
Still. Oh, it's burning the shield, right? Elements. Uh oh. Yeah. You know what? Kind of down for a restart. I feel like I do want to do a damage list. We'll we'll try that. <laughs> do a barrel roll. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever ship to do that. But um, we're trying to do a gliak roll, which means send the gliak in, in the sky and then make him tumble down. So a gliak roll. We'll make it work. Hi, Red Pirate. This is our uh, final part of the Gliak genocide. Oh. It saved after we ate the food. Okay, nice. I want to see... Can we instantly get it from here? I have to miss, but... That is just so satisfying. I'm... I did not use eyes for the longest time. And now... See just how fun they are. And then the fire action? No, not really. Okay, fine, one. One razor for you. And two. We'll we'll break that anyways. Another. <laughs> That's just too busted. Okay. Shoot your thingies at me. We're gonna try to get around to the back. Do the counter. Yes! We got the tail whip! <gasps> Again! Flurry rush to Gliok. I'm finally getting used to the timing. Oh! Oh, the. I just blocked the other one. Okay, we have to do the double flurry at some point. I don't know if that's possible, but. My assumption is that it is. Okay. Dazzle fruits, because they are... fun. <laughs> um, so, you know, I could probably shoot down a Gliok instantly with the thing, but I need these for upgrades, so we're not going to. Because regardless of the element, they still do, like, 80 damage explosion. Per. Um, I don't know if it nulls it for the same element type, though. You know, screw it. I'm trying it. <laughs> We're here to try new things. And have fun. And I think I'm good on the Topaz ones. <laughs> Link's face just... Whoop. Those eyes just peeking up above. It's like, what is this? Please work. That did not do the desired effect. <laughs> I don't think we wasted it, because we, we have a bunch, so it's fine. It didn't get them all, because it's too much. <laughs> Getting it directly. This thing fires fast. Oh my god. Yes, okay. Believe in myself. <laughs> We're just going to get it just low enough so the final phase will crash down. Maybe two more hits? Oh, forgot the head there. <laughs> Use a chicken thigh to kill him. Well, it might kill itself on the way down, but... Chicken thigh for the good luck. Okay, I have yet to do this part damageless without a Thunder Helm, so... <laughs> will this be the time? Okay. I'm gonna wait for the ice. Damage please. Whoa! Okay, stand behind that one. I don't see it. No! I don't see it ever! No! Okay. Not damage but that's fine. One of these days, when we have that, will be a glorious moment. But it has to happen naturally. I mean, that was that, that was just a glorious moment in itself. <laughs> Every time I get a watch, that's glorious. Okay, use that up because I don't need two of them. Let's keep getting them nonstop. Bye, bye, King Leah. 
Bye-bye. <laughs> With the thigh club. Nice. Snap back to reality. Oh, there grows gravity. Killing Gleox. Hitting the ground. There we go. Another got. <laughs> so we have a lot. 113 of the wings. That's actually very good. <laughs> and you can farm like the fruits up here pretty well. If that's your goal. Um, not really our goal. We have a lot. But picking stuff up is always fun. Splat. <laughs> yeah, so Dazzle Roots are fun. And actually, these probably are the best spots in the game to farm them. I never realized that. We just got like 20 of them. Uh, maybe. Exaggerated. Who knows? Onion. Thank you. Mm, I am going to re. Still waiting for the day I finally use the elemental key size. I have used them before. And it's fun. I. You know what? I think they actually can one shot the Gliok. Because I just realized that they do a bit of fundamental, like, magic damage on top of the elemental. Which wasn't a thing in Breath of the Wild, but. Yeah, every, uh like, elemental monster part in this game. It does, like, its base elemental damage, which is, like, a fixed thing, whatever. Uh, but there's, like, a bit of, like, magic damage on top of it, which, uh, to explain that, like, the fruits, like, the fire fruits, uh, shock fruits, all that, they don't do any extra damage beyond just the elemental. But, like, yeah, like, elemental eyeballs or, like, tails will do a bit of extra on top of the elemental and then the raw attack. So it's, like, another layer of just extra stuff. Um... And then for the gemstones, if you just use them as like an arrow fusion, it does 80 magic damage on top of the elemental damage and then the arrow shot damage. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot of layers. They added another layer from Breath of the Wild. So it's not just Breath of the Wild was elements and base attack. This is element, base attack, and then like additional magic damage. So, yeah, depending on the thing, it's more or less magic damage. So the fruits are zero magic damage. They're just basic elemental distributors. Um, whereas, like, a lot of parts give, like, plus 20. Gems give plus 80. <laughs> yeah, just nerdy facts for nerds. There we go. Um, also, interesting question. Do I do my hair before streams? I... Five days out of the week, at least, I will style my hair. Uh, <laughs> but that's just, like, my n normal look. Uh, I keep it, like, like that, and it sometimes stays. Uh, but... Yeah, if I'm just kind of staying at home, like, editing, not playing, going out, I'll just keep it floppy. And it looks it looks very funny when I don't comb it. Because um, it, it can't stay up without, like, hair gel. It just, like, like a rat's nest. Like, not like that. It's actually way worse. Um, but it's, like, all down and just frizzled. So, if my hair does not have gel in it. It looks very, yeah. <laughs> like, I just roll out of bed. Um, But, yeah, that was a Gliok, indeed. Now, I want to say Nadro's back so I can get that really quick, but... First, I have like three minutes left in the attack buff. I think we should do something about it. Um, I see a talus right there. I see an unexplored area with a camp right there. So what do we say to that? We, I say we explore. For a bit, let this attack buff run out. Um, might as well. But yeah, it's been really fun. So all four Kingly Ox killed with the bonus fire one that we got too. Um, a lot of other bosses, just so many weapon combinations that were crazy and just room for experimentation. Mm. And that was really cool to check out today. More extra bosses for the Medals of Honor that we're trying to get. Um, so quite a few of that, like Froxes and all that. Um, good variety. And some parts we still need. Let's see, yeah, every stream will have a theme, so... This theme is that a lot of bosses, mainly King Gliox, for those parts. Because even after all that, we still have five more to get, but... Maybe, like, once or twice a stream, we'll kill another King Gliox. Um, let's see, last stream's theme was... Making money. So, we just sold a bunch of access stuff that we had. We were just exploring more to... Kill enemies that gave good stuff, too. Some questing. Um, and then, yeah, like... There's another stream where we were just more boss rushes. Some of them were just like purely exploring. Uh, Cause there's still some unexplored areas, although very minor. I still have like six caves left, so I don't know. Um, maybe next stream we'll explore more of the gaps, find more Koroks and whatnot. Um, 
maybe re-explore some areas where we can find Koroks and also get some materials that we need for armor upgrades. But we'll keep like every stream having like a theme of someone because I think that's interesting and fun that way. So I don't mind that. And yeah, Compendium we completed, completed a long time ago. Uh, didn't buy any pictures, just took them all. And I'm happy that we missed nothing. Hmm. New Korok for us because Nintendo added a thousand seeds in the game. Don't we love them for that? Okay. Sorry, CC hat is very silly. Um, but what I need? Not CC hat. Oh wait, I know what I can do. I just use one fan, but I was gonna attach these rockets to it, which I will. But I just realized something. Excavator's funny. Oh, is that when the Yiga? <laughs> okay, I know what all the Yiga's commands are because we got them in our Yiga run that I'm still editing. But uh, one of them was literally a liftoff glider with a plane and two things, and I totally forgot to do it. Um, so like the four Yiga smacks were missing were all ones I was trying to do today. I was like, come on. Bye, club. Oh, we gotta take Turkey for a ride. Go, Turkey, go. Oh, that was beautiful. Quite an, uh... Yeah, we could have made it, like, to the top. If I can, like, swift files, it'll be nice. I need those still. It's always been a necessity for armor upgrades. Okay, we're gonna put in Korok Mask. If we can get, like, a Korok or two today, that'll be nice. You know, I can dye Link's hair. We found that out recently with the, uh, like, Frostbite, or rather any of the like dragon sets, uh, elemental ones. Yeah, still wasn't fully expecting that. Like I heard, like, oh, it changes things. Uh, but it makes sense. Like the full hair color can change, which is very cool. All right, this is like a pristine. Maybe I do want to keep this because it's fun. I do like just a little, little fire, you know. I forgot if it's an ice explosions that fire too. So maybe we should just keep it like that. Did you get him? We did somehow. Okay. And more ice tail. Woohoo. Okay, we're still running on a minute with this attack buff. I just know it's a talus. If it's a battle one, it's easy because those are tiered pretty low. It's probably a. F oh, frost. Okay. Sorry, I see it right there. You can go with the frost resistant one. That's fine. No Aracudas. Just a swarm of them. For what? They're just hanging out? Okay. Aracuda territory. Usually they're like one offs, but it's like where their family is. Okay. What do you guys like to fight? I wish I could muddle bottom, but you can't. Muddle buds insta kill those guys. Which is funny, because Muddle Buds typically just do one damage, and they have two health. Uh, but they made it so it just instant kills. Okay. Get a multi. Oh! Why does this one look so big? Oh! <laughs> he just knocked his head back, and that was it for him. Yeah, we don't need to worry about no cold. I have a few options. I can go that, or I can go... The Zant Helmet. <laughs> That's sillier. Don't hurt plushy. Go. Now get your stuff back. Whoop, pop. And then. Here, quick spin. We have 20 seconds left the attack buff. Oh, nice. <laughs> Um, Mineral could use that maybe. These are cool. I I do like the uh, frost ones a lot. 
Seems fun like on a Master Sword or something, you know. He... Bounds are limitless. Let's see, that part's 38. Um, may not last forever. 27. Yeah, it's a very fun part. Okay. Also, I hope you know I've had this uh, plushie with me the whole time. Not just here, but the real one. The daily turkey cameo, so. There we go. <laughs> yeah. In the back, in the game, on the shoulder, in the real life. <laughs> cool. This is working. <laughs> if you sit there casually and patiently, it's fine. We like shoulder plushy. Um, what was I going to check out? Okay, we can delete that. Literally no core or there might be a Korok. I just switched my mask. You know, we're gonna save that. That was fun. We'll do more base exploration in the next stream, I think. Uh for now though, I'm gonna quickly check to see if Nadra's there, because that would be cool. Um Because yeah, we can upgrade the tunic of memories then. And then something else. There was Oh yeah, snow boots, I think it was. Snow boots Nadra scales for the snow boots, because I don't know why. <laughs> of all things, snow boots requires dragon parts. And uh, the ferocious horn was for Tunica memories. Hello, chicken guy. I'm sure Nadra is right. Oh, there you are. Or is that light dragon? No, it's Nadra. I don't know where light dragon is. I think we may need like one more part from it. Maybe a scale? I, I wish I knew. But I don't. Okay, I think Forge Island is actually like the best place. Yeah, we'll go there. <laughs> yeah, I have other plushies. There's there's at least like three by my desk at all times. Uh, of course we have Floyd, because you know, he's eternal. And uh, a new one, we also got this, uh, it's a guppy fish. So, you know, they're just happy. And we like the food ones. I mean, fish, food, technically, so. Yeah, smiling ones or Zelda theme ones or yeah, plushies are always happy, and I ha I'm just happy that plushies are in this game. How old is my shirt? Uh, I got in the Stone Age actually. Um, some of my cavemen friends got it for me. They're really cool. Um, I'm sad I'm born in this generation, you know. It is kind of an outdated style. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, where did I get it? Probably like Kohl's or something. I feel like half my wardrobe, majority of my wardrobe at one point came from Kohl's. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I definitely have the Kohl's look half the time, which is fine. Kohl's is just nice, you know? Hey. So what is that thing for? Can you reactivate it? I don't know. I don't actually know. Oh, it restarts those. Okay. So you have to do it every time you want to go back, which is fine. That's totally fine. It's a glory to We Fit Trainer. That's an interesting one. <laughs> Let's see We Fit Trainer getting some praise. They deserve it. All right, down below we go. Let's go get our scale. I'll hail the scale. Fall, fall damage? Nope, no fall damage. Okay. <laughs> Got my arrow back. But yeah, I always try to get the part first before looting the back because then you can see the parts easier. This is a very important step. See? They're glowing. Otherwise, everything will be glowing, so you can't really distinguish between the shards and. There's up to 12 different parts. Okay, thank you, Nadro. Um, closest thing is like uh, fairy fountain. We're going to the cold one because we have cold armor. I like to switch it up because it's like, ooh, being different. Wow. 
why do you sp splash for instead of ice fruits? Because I have over 100, and when you have over 100 or something, it really doesn't matter which one you use. So, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of just the first thing that plucks in there. Because honestly, like, if you're trying to use other things for different reasons, uh, different elemental things will have different radiuses and extra damage. So, the fruits are just kind of like low tier at this point. Like, they're easy to get, but... Again, low tier. Um, what's our total count? Because I'm curious. Uh, 165, yeah. So I technically have more, but it's just like inconsequential. I'm never going to use them all up. And I justified that earlier with the Dazzle Fruits getting like a quarter of that just now. Uh, thank you, Gleox Sky Islands. Okay. Um... No boots. <laughs> Guide. Um, I'm gonna quickly cook up that one dish that we used, which was uh, what was it? <laughs> okay, porgy munya. So, wheat, butter, and three porgies for the max effect. Because you need at least two porgies and any other attack ingredient to create a level three. Because porgies are very potent. Uh, I'm going to need more butter soon, too. Porgy, porgy, porgy. That's fine. Hmm. Yay. So amazing. Still trying to figure out how to do the ripened flint thing. Um, yeah. Because you can technically sell it for like a thousand rupees uh, to that one Goron guy. But I don't know how the mechanics oh. behind that work. Because sometimes you can just give him like 20 to get that ripened flint. Uh, sometimes 100. I don't know. If you save him reload, he might have better luck. I have no idea how it works. So. Also, let's go mining. Oh. This has been very fun. Thank you to everyone who's tuned in today. We did a lot of experimentation and a lot of boss fights. And... We're just kind of winding down with just some other things. Uh, vegetable omelet. That is very good. We like omelets. Um, but yeah, this is all good for uh, armor upgrades, more progress towards the metals for well, a lot of the other bosses we killed today, which was quite a decent bet. But I do want to get all the metals, all the armor upgrades, all the Koroks, all that. Aww. As long as you're always experimenting, nothing in this game ever feels tedious. It's just like, oh, there's the next thing and the next. You always either discover new things or find out new things. Even things that were right in front of your face the whole time, like the boomerang thing. Like for this, it's like, oh, you wanna be silly? <laughs> Have it follow you, like a little companion. <laughs> Speed buff makes it more efficient, but that's good for shorter hikes. Make more challenge videos? Yes. Uh, I'm still editing through the most recent one, and I want to get it up within, like, I don't know, next, like, week and a half. I can't exactly say. Um, <laughs> these tiers challenges are a lot longer than the Breath of the Wild ones, and even those took a long time to edit. So it takes several weeks for me to fully, like, edit down and, you know, make into, like, a mini challenge run movie kind of thing. But they're very fun. Yeah. As soon as we finish that, then we'll record the next one soon, and yeah, there's going to be a lot of the ones to do over the next few years, so I'm very excited. So, oh, it still works on a horse, isn't that why they did it? Okay. That might be why they changed the speed. Oh, I didn't mean to actually do that one. Actually, thank you for not hitting horse. For the horse. <laughs> Big meaty. Okay, follow me. Oh no. I'm so sorry. At least the car hit the Bacoblin. Okay, we're gonna uh don't don't do that. That's disrespectful. No. <laughs> that was so grim. I didn't want that to happen. Okay, boomerang does not discriminate. 
There are times you should discriminate from front from foe. Yeah. Boomerang's just a chaotic evil. Ow. This is so good though. That, that was without attack up. Like, this is a very good weapon. A lot of health, but it's still painful. Back, up. Back off, guys. I got a very fast firing. Okay, you know what? Oh, <laughs> just a warning shot. Kill all their friends. Maybe they'll learn. Also, who said horses couldn't climb? This is perfect. Oh, randomly just got too cold because elevation, I think. Damn it. <laughs> All of our objectives today were so far from Koroks, which is fine. Some streams will go by and do a ton of them, and sometimes none. But I like doing them, because sometimes they're just all different takes on puzzles, and sometimes they're really unique ones. Even if it's uniquely hidden. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't kill the horse. The boomerang did, so. Blame that. That's okay. We, oh, we found the sticky frog to upgrade at one level. Oh, see, so yeah, we have. Okay, so we did get some good upgrades today. Just by going through the canyon, everything we did paid off. Uh, yep, more tails, which is finally upgraded the third piece to level three. So the whole set's level three now. This is the payoff part. See what all of our spoils got us. Besides the Gliak guts, because that just got us a lot of progress towards one. That is still a bit away. But next Blood Moon, we'll go back for more on a next stream. Um, okay, we finally got those sticky frogs by accident earlier. Um, so now we can get the full set to at least level three. Which the head's less important because we do have the chic mask for the stealth set up to level four. But still good for that set bonus, so you need the set bonus. Um, okay. So that was good, some minor upgrades. I want to see kind of what else. That is cruel. You know, I'm like, well, we just got a bunch. I need 27 more Ice Breath Lizalfo's Tales. We are definitely spending a stream where we're just, you know what? Yeah. What if we spent a stream where we just like, really just like got invested in the region to kill all the enemies there for parts, but also do like everything, like including like Koroks and whatnot. Because I think that could justify, like, going back for these parts if we're, like, actually trying to deep scan it for Koroks, uh, which wouldn't be bad. Addison signs. Um, but deep scan, I mean, just, like, look at a map and see where we haven't gone. It'll be pretty easy. Um, but, yeah, that could justify it a lot. Even if that's, like, later. <laughs> okay, we need, like, three more armor pieces to max out everything. White Lionel, that's easy. We'll get that eventually. Uh, more desert stuff, yeah. It's like down the road. We'll always make something interesting out of it, though. Gipto. Okay. Again, it's like that stuff we're going to naturally get. Uh, you know, just like a one-off. Okay. We, we're we going to find nine more trout. <laughs> Not those. We'll have to go to Rito Village for that. So. Yeah. At least we're making more progress, because I feel like the last two big 100% objectives, Koroks and armor upgrades. So if we don't pace them out throughout, then we'll be a clump at the end. Also, yeah, Snow Boots, we do have the final upgrade. Um, not the Violets for it, though. Sadly, we don't have the Violets. But this, we can get it up. Okay. Can I see myself saving when we're loading my Don't Get a Tail? I don't think it's really worth it for that because it's just a 25% shot. Um, I'd rather just, if I don't get a tail, I'll go with the next one. It's, I think it'll be faster just keep going, keep going throughout the whole region. Kill a bunch of them. You're not worrying about saving reloading. It's more fun that way, too. Uh, so, it may not even be all one pass, too. Because it just, it takes a lot. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't make the rules. I'm just playing by them, I guess. <laughs> but, it's still fun. We make an adventure out of it. We'll see the best strats for getting a bunch. And then, it'll feel very rewarding. And yeah, this, when we just... Get more star fragments, just collectively. So we have four Gliakats now from the four we killed. That is five more over 
a stretch period of time because mind you it's still you know i'm in no rush to finish but every stream makes great progress and it's all very fun and i really enjoy doing it so all right let's see the last one i didn't know we had another one uh oh princesses fang nature two nature horns though oh my god Wait, why nature specifically? Did, did it just go from two nature scales to two nature horns? That's a big jump and very specific for this one outfit. Why nature? Wisdom? Um, I guess... Oh wait, never mind. I was looking at the other one, wasn't I? <laughs> Sorry. The scale was the snow boots. I'm... Whoa, okay. Uh, never mind. It did go f two Feroche, two Nadra, two Dinral. That was a... Yeah. But, okay, we almost have this actually maxed out already. Um, we'll use our Light Dragon Horn. It's using up all of our horns for potential fuses, but we'll get more. Um, one more Dinral, which... If we check out the region again, it'd be pretty easy. Uh, but yeah, we actually went from something else barely upgraded to almost maxed out. So I'm very proud of that. And star fragments I usually get off stream, like 90% of them. Uh, I show my farming method a few times, but yeah, it just takes a bit. We're mostly fine in the sapphires. We need some, but we'll get some from the last few caves we need to get. You know, it'll all be done. It's a joy of a hundred percent. You just kind of gradually work towards it. And before you know it, you're just like five giant steps ahead. It's like, nice. It feels very accomplishing. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. This was a fun stream, getting a lot of stuff. Uh, just very happy after these, because it's fun to just do stuff. We like doing stuff. And chatting about stuff while doing stuff is two times the fun. So, yeah, we'll be back next Wednesday with more. Uh, if I were to guess, probably it might be more focused on map exploration. Some of the few, you know, it's like little areas, like we didn't go there. There probably is like a Korok something. Um, a few caves. We're still trying to find six of them. We're trying to do it without a guide. So, um, I think I found one over he here. I got tipped off. There's one around this area, one around this area. So maybe we can check those out. Uh, do a bit more exploration, you know, see more of that hero's path filled in. Um, and the other objectives will come naturally. So thank you. I'm glad you guys were here today and we'll be back next Wednesday. I'll just be basically working on my video in the meantime, so we can hopefully get that out within the next week-ish, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out. But thank you. Hope you guys have a great night and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.